censorship should we, should we just start again there's even censorship in the apocalypse my friend no oh, f- for one welcome this apocalypse <laughs> okay come on i demand that we start again i'm not happy with that come on we're more professional than that boys come on hello and welcome to <laughs> quit into the ball in the post truth apocalypse like i said the first time <laughs> <around. laughs> i am a very hungover ben and i'm joined by gaz hello and Mike. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, um, actually, we can leave that first bit in. I quite like that. Anyway, so, <laughs> well, we're definitely leaving it in because I'm pretty sure. Even though I wasn't listening, I am gonna, I'm gonna put my money on. I'm going with Mike. I think you messed the title up, and I take it back. If we listen back and you didn't, I apologise. Uh, I wasn't paying full attention. I will admit. Profusely. Anyway, today, <laughs> after. Uh, when the recording of this comes back and I'm vindicated, I expect at least some kind of Christmas present. <laughs> Are you still waiting for that sword? I'm still waiting for that sword and shield. You're going to make me. Okay, give me, give me a couple of weeks. Right, um, we're going to talk about Bigfoot. 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 Big cock. You know they say with the size of the feet. <laughs> no one's ever mentioned that appendage. It's all about the feet. Uh, Bigfoot, bless him. Um, so yeah, that's the main subject, but before we get there, as is turning into a regular thing, I think. Um, we have a weird news section. A weird news section. Because the world is full of weirdness. It is. What you got, Mike? Is Mike going first? Yeah, they're on the, they're on the laptop. It's, uh, I've, has anyone got a fire machine I could borrow? You mean a... We've got a, one lighter between us. Oh, it's, it's, it's a ghost lighter. I did bring... Oh, for God's sake. Hang on, this is an insight to the listener. I did bring... I know I possess a lighter. Did I leave it in the van? Son of a bitch, this is going to be an interesting recording. Okay. Do you want to, do you want to start with this one, Mike? Yeah, we'll go. We'll kick into it. Okay, first headline. Terrorists could use murderous robots to kill us all. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> now that's a headline. That is the headline that's, of the year. That's going to grab you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> So where are the terrorists going to get these murderous robots from? And are they Terminators? Ooh. Or, you know, maybe just little scaraby type robots? Hang on, hang on. This is just... You know, normally I'd be all over this, because robots are my thing, but I, it's just hit me that this is probably typical uh, sort of journalism, sensationalist journalism, because terrorists could use murderous robots to kill us all. I think you find... Our government already use murderous robots to kill people. They're called drones. Yeah. There's nothing that spectacular, or um, so this could be. Tough. Yeah, but they, we don't want them in the hands of the terrorists. That's what they're saying. Oh yeah, no, I don't want terrorists with drones with guns on them. I, I don't want that. Our but, state does it. America does it. The yeah. West does it. Yes, it's fucking horrific. No, when we do it, it's, it's heroism. Well, that's well, that's because it's the hypocrisy of the elites, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I'd like a drone. With guns on it. Have you seen? I did literally see footage. I may have talked about this on our DARPA episode of a drone with a handgun attached to it. It was a bit of a homemade type right. deal. And literally, the kickback of the handgun would move the drone in the air. Like, I have seen it. It was firing a handgun remotely. I remember. I'm, that. I'm sure the aim was fucking terrible, but still, you fire that into a crowd. It's not going to be good. So, sorry, I'm getting... Do you think this is referring to drone-type things, or are you thinking more Terminator? I'm, I'm hoping Terminator. Hunter-killer type. Yeah. Um, Ed 209s. Yeah. Well, should we see what they said? Well, oh, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it, I mean, before we just do the meat of the article, I just want to point out a very important word in that headline. Mm. Terrorists could 
Uh, so, yeah, I could use murderous robots to kill you all. Mm, I could, in course. theory, what? if I had a bunch of murderous robots in my beck and call. So, but Ben, are you saying that I could be a Transformer? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you telling me that the newspaper sensationalised the headline in order to get readers? Yeah, no. Do no, no, I don't. They, they don't do that. No. Go on then, give us, a, give us the meat of it. Okay. Apparently it was experts telling the House of Lords... Well, they're all pissed. <laughs> <laughs> but what type? What I just I just saw the line of T eight hundred model one hundred one Terminator isn't oh isn't like oh, and it's sold by swarms of killer drones. See, I was right. I could be an expert who talks to the fucking House of Lords. <laughs> they're all too busy fiddling kids in here. <laughs> Allegedly, <laughs> they're all drunk and asleep while this was going on. You know that for a fact. Okay, so. Okay, terrorists could use swarms of killer robots to launch lethal attacks against the West. The vice president of a European defence giant has warned. Ter- uh, do, I, sorry to interrupt, yeah. right? Uh, we can the already... vice president of a European defence giant. Yeah. I bet he's got the answer to this yeah. as well, hasn't he? And I bet it's even more fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger drones. <laughs> yeah, and they're really expensive. And my mega tech giant firm just happens to be the That's manufacturers. It. That's it. That's why he's in the House of Lords he's talking peddling about it. fear in he, order to sell more he's weapons. Yeah. Typical sales rep. Yeah, or his firm makes the um, the anti-drone missiles or something like that. Yeah. You know? it's, it's, he's got, definitely got the counter to yeah. it. It's like G.I. Joe, isn't it? Yeah, even that, that film. Mm. Uh, where he makes the nanobots mm. and also the, the cure for it, the kill switch. Yeah. I'm going to make a shocking confession. What? I enjoy that movie. Oh, you do when I'm drunk, yeah. <laughs> the CGI in it is awful. Yeah, I know, but... But it's like, you know robot what? Robot suits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> would you? I would you. It's, I never Ninjas? saw the second one. I've seen that, The Rock's in it. Yeah. Uh, I, literally... It, Apart from the fact the rock's in it, I can't really like, distinguish between the two. I think the second one's where there's a fight on the side of a mountain where ninjas are hanging from ropes. Yeah, that was in the first one. Oh, yeah, that's worth the second one. Anyway, I digress. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Thales yeah. VP Alvin Wilby told the house... Thales VP? Thales. Oh, sorry. Thales. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. T- Presuming they're the arms manufacturer. Yeah, T-H-A-L-E-S. Uh, he told a House of Lords committee... The terrorists will be able to get their mitts on killer robots, in quote quotations, in the very near future. To be afraid. Yeah. Be you, very you, afraid. You've got to love that journalism, haven't you? Terrorists don't have hands; they have mitts. <laughs> yeah. Get their filthy, filthy mitts, mitts on it. And is that a photograph of a, of a sex doll, Mike? What, it looks like that's... it. Yeah. Are they going to reprogram <laughs> sex dolls? Because if they are, I don't know <laughs> why. I don't know why there's a picture of sex dolls in an article about killer robots. <laughs> what? what? what I see is this? death cells, but death and sex together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I, not only do I want to kill a robot, I also want a sex doll. Now. <laughs> oh man, I heard a freaking news story the other day. The world's first. Speaking of those. The picture that we can see for the listener is those very realistic... Well, they're not that realistic, but no. it looks a lot more realistic than an inflatable doll. They're those... You know the ones. The, look of, the look of surprise on that one's yeah. face. <laughs> but there's the world's first sex doll brothel. And I've seen that, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. and they, they assure the visitor, the customer, that, that the dolls are thoroughly cleaned in between... <laughs> um, Bookies. That was always my question on Westworld. Who gets to clean the cum out of the robot? <laughs> 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 do you know <laughs> Genuinely, the, that, that, you do see someone doing that. Yeah, uh, no. This, you see them getting cleaned up, yeah. Ah. Uh, and one of them comments like, "Oh, one of the droids has got like syphilis or something like that on the on the because it's artificial the skin." The droids got syphilis. Yeah, basically, yeah. It's, it, it, there's traces of syphilis on the skin. Oh, from the um, from some some dirty oh, bathroom. Is, the, is their skin like a real biological yeah, thing? Okay, yeah. and so someone gave the robot syphilis. That is typical <laughs> yeah. human behaviour, isn't it? Yeah. The typical fucking human. We've created this new life form. You know, the next stage in um, technological hu- uh, human hybrid evolution. The next step, and we give it fucking <laughs> syphilis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well. What a species we are. <laughs> We're fucking ace, aren't we? Yeah, you used to see the the lot the the other lab guys in the white yeah. white coats and the, and the, the visors. They clean them all out. That's the shittiest job ever. I don't know. 
I always go through films and I always try and find the shittest job in a film. Oh, go on, give us an example. Well, there's one in Star Wars where, like, there's a guy just standing in a big tower with a stick <laughs> as planes go past. Yeah. That's a shit job. Yeah, it's just security. <laughs> he didn't join the Rebel Alliance or that, did he? Yeah, he's on his own about a mile up. Yeah, but it's the same working for, like, G4S or something. He's freezing you know? his ass off. He must be there for eight hours. I bet he's got a little one. radio. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do the song from the canteen until I got it wrong. There you go. Stop before we get sued. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. Sorry, George Lucas. Your people are shit. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying, though. Like, it's a pretty lonely job, yeah. isn't it? I lonely. wonder how many. If there's like anti-suicide things. Oh, there's like some towers, kind of netting. Because there's so many of them who've just gone fuck this. <laughs> yeah. and just leaned over. Yeah. There's gonna be suicide netting up. Because it, yeah. it, it is a really small little thing. He stood in as well. Mm. It's not like he's got a bit of space to stretch out where we have to sit down. No. He's literally just forced into this. Standing position? Mm, yeah. It's quite it's standing, yeah. There's got to be worse jobs, though. Cinema. Yeah, if, uh, send us... Uh, I've lost the ability to talk, I think. Um, go to our Facebook page. Tell us the worst cinematic jobs yeah. you can conceive of in the in the universe of films. I so, like our Facebook page as well, because you can wear a T-shirt. You can, and, uh, and an LCD game from the late 80s. Yeah, and, and top prizes. And a drawing. Woo! Our likes um, are slowly creeping up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're at 59 now. By the way, boy, I'm working on the next piece of art. It's nowhere near finished yet, but it's going to be a cracker. It's Ooh, Mr. Awesome. Blobby being murdered by Paul McCartney. Fantastic. It's, it's coming along. How, how are we getting on these robots? Yeah, uh, it will be reminding the committee that civilian drones are already being used in warfare, pointing out that in 2015 a Japanese civilian tried to deliver radioactive sand to the Japanese Prime Minister. Well, it's not like they've got a shortage of radioactive sand, though, is it? <laughs> Can I just say, I fucking love Japan. So because they have robots. What? Yeah, but what? That's an awesome attempt at, like, your Prime Minister's life, like, uh, using a drone to drop off radioactive sand. Where does one get radioactive sand from? Fukushima. Did he go to Fukushima and literally <laughs> collect... So hasn't he got... Isn't he giving it... Did he go there in a bee suit? He, he, I so. And he also claims that ISIS have already got drones and using them. Well, I'm sure I read, heard a story of, didn't they use the drone? They've shot down something of ours, or the US is using drones, a missile or something. I may be, I, I may be completely making that up to the listener, but it's something I think I've heard. But yeah. we're, we're stupid if we think they haven't got, or starting to get that kind of technology. We're, we're insane if well, we think... It says they are, but it's a remote control, but it doesn't have the capability to discern between friend and foe. Uh, but I mean, have you seen a US well, that's, that's drone? That seems quite important to me. Mm. I mean, it's not important to the US military. Yeah. But these no, the drones, US military can. I don't know about ISIS drones. The, the US yeah, military does have a lot of friendly fire instances. They do. But have you seen their killed, drones? They've killed scores of civilians. Yeah. Yeah. But that's because, I don't think that's an accuracy thing. I think that's because they're like, we have the phone signal of this guy. He's that's in it. this building. Yeah. Take, that, take out the building. That's it. Uh, Fuck anyone. Kill, if, if, yeah. you're, if you're next to a terrorist, yeah. you're a terrorist. You're unlucky. Well, you know what I yeah. say. That's what they're thinking is. If they run... They're a VC, and if they can still, they're a well-disciplined VC. That's what I say. <laughs> that would have been me in Vietnam, by the way, that guy on the chopper. That would have ah, I've got a gun and I want to fire it. And then, if that's if you got me at the brothel. No. Wouldn't you like to think you'd be one of the nice heroic ones who saved the local villager and fell in love with them? No, I'd just go nuts in Vietnam. Save guns and sex again, what I say. <laughs> I, want, I would like to think I'd save someone, you know, it'd be... It'd be be a bit romantic, you know, as the as the name. No romantic war, guys. What's <laughs> hell? I'm a poet. That has to be. <laughs> no romantic war. I'm mate. a terrible poet as well. It's, it's um, um, war. War is hell. But so. my point is, <laughs> my point was, before I forget that um, U.S. drones. I was quite shocked when I actually saw one, because uh, obviously, I'm, you know, your homemade drone, not homemade. Sorry, your, your sort of home market drone with the four propellers on each yeah. corner. You know, uh, obviously, I didn't think they looked like big versions of that, but. It's quite. It just looks like a very high tech glider type. Um, yeah, they just do. Just look quite yeah. high tech and killy. And didn't somebody shoot one down? Maybe that's when I'm getting confused. Somebody shot down a US drone. Oh, probably. Yeah, that just didn't that, happen. We talked it. about this. I'm sure we did a few weeks ago. And they're literally they're proud of it. They're showing the footage online and they're stripping that thing to bits. So that's it. How about yeah. to stop terrorists getting drones? Stop building them ourselves. Mm. Yeah, but then there'll be a drone gap, Mike. The terrorists will have the drones, and we and we'll have the drone, and we won't have any drones. It'll be a drone gap. It's a drone deterrent. It's well, it's, 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 we're gonna go mad. It's mutually assured destruction. Are now. we gonna end mutually up with, assured drones? Are we gonna end up one day with nuclear armed drones? Yeah. What if one crashes? 
Well, it's be the same as if a bomber carry and a nuclear bomb crashes. It's I've the same heard, as if a nuclear power plant. I've also heard that there's going to be uh, solar powered drones that are going to be able to fly for twenty years or so. Yeah, yeah. Coming down, they're probably going to be armed as well, or surveillance drones or yeah. something. So you know, that's that's we've got a bright future to that's look forward be, you to. You know, there's, there's, I think with one thing you can say. I mean, I don't consider myself a prophet, mm. but I am going to say in the future, for definite, mm. there's going to be a lot of drones. Oh yeah. I mean, doesn't Amazon yeah. deliver by drone now? They're planning to. Planning I don't know if they to. do already, but I think yeah, they are planning to. But we <laughs> did a whole bit on that. I wouldn't fancy any DVD being fired through the fucking window. Yeah, go, back, go back to DARPA for this. <laughs> yeah, 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 we did a whole bit well, on a, what that's well, going to look like. We've got another military one. Um, we have. Okay. Good. But I insisted on this because I want a death ray laser weapon. World War Three game changer. UK military to fire death ray laser weapon. Fantastic. Wow. Who are we going to fire it at? Who are we and, and why are we planning for World War Three? Shouldn't we not be doing that? The yeah, UK. should we try and avoid that? Yeah, yeah. It will yeah. Be, uh, the I, UK, through an arms giant, opened a test centre in the UK to develop death ray laser guns. Ooh. Do they yeah. need a delivery driver. <laughs> I'd, I'd work for them. Look at that. The picture. The, the, I love this website. They've just photoshopped like a you know battleship. It's just firing a laser. It yeah. just looks so ridiculous. It does. It actually looks more like a Dalek. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh man, someone um, I don't know who shared it on Facebook, uh, but Spike Milligan. How times have changed. A sketch by Spike Milligan of the Pakistani Dalek coming home from work. Yeah. Wow. Well, check that out, listener. <laughs> wow. So that's pretty much it. That's so, pretty much all but the did they not explain? That's all the info. Pretty so we're much, gonna. Yeah. We got, so. Yeah, on the plus side, we're getting laser guns. But back in the hundred thousand years ago, some dude tried making one with a mirror and the sun, didn't he? Like, Ar- was uh, it Archimedes? Yeah, one of them historical. It was. He was Greek. I know he's English. They tested to death on mythbusters. Mm. Big on hummus and curly shoes. That's the Turks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Turks. <laughs> Not the Greeks. I, I've got to say, Mike. Red Dwarf. I know, yeah, yeah. That, last week, there was there was a very comical element to your uh, your picks from the news story. This week, it's a lot more. Death and world war related. It isn't seems it? to be, doesn't it? it? Yeah. As, the, as the world took a turn. Turn for the worst. I okay. found some I've got, funny ones, but I don't know how. I've got one more. Knew they are. I've been quite depressed this week with the state of the world. <laughs> oh, actually, no, no, no. This one, this I'm one. just sat there this reading one. the news every day. I'm like, oh, that's fuck's why I, sake. I honestly haven't watched the news. <laughs> this one will really cheer you up. Oh, come on then. People, Get ready, bed. people played naked tag inside Nazi gas chamber for art. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Fucking hippies. <laughs> why? Art? There's a picture of about half a dozen people playing naked. Why are nudists always fucking ugly? Jesus. And I hate people who get naked for any reason other than an orgy. Like, if you're in a group setting and you're all naked and you're not doing coke and having an orgy, then you're probably an artist. The video called Game of Tag was filmed inside the Stutthof death camp near Gdansk by artist uh, Arthur Majewski in 1999, yet the location was not known until early this year, the BBC reports. The four-minute film, which was exhibited in 2015, shows naked men and women running around and laughing after f- filing slowly into the camp's stone gas chambers. Wow. And what statement is this artist trying to... Uh, what, what's he, yeah, we what's his it. point? What's his MO? That looks like fucking Jesus. <laughs> I don't think he was in the Holocaust. Is, is there any, any quotes from Mr. Mievsky? Wissenthal Center's chief Nazi hunter, Ephraim Zurov. Now that's a job. That's a job, isn't yeah, it? That's, that's a job. job I can what do you expect. do for a living? I'm a chief Nazi hunter. Oh, it's you... the Weizen... Is it the Weizenthal Center? Mm. I know that Simon Weizenthal was the first Nazi hunter. Mm. Wouldn't it be cooler if you introduced the people, oh, what do you do for a living? I'm a hunter. Yeah. Oh, really? What do you hunt? Nazis. <laughs> oh, fuck. Get this man a job. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Get this man a whiskey and a yeah. blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Whiskey blowjob and a cigar. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, apparently he told the BBC, it's really outrageous. I hope the Polish president will put in place regulations to make sure st- like, stuff like this doesn't happen again. I mean, I've got to be honest, I'm all up for, you know, I studied, I did creative subjects at college and uni, uh, but there's got to be a line, there's got to be a point. I mean, the video was part of an exhibition called Poland, Israel, Germany, the experience of Auschwitz at the Krakow Art Museum. It, it was sponsored by the Israeli embassy. Okay. That's odd. Who called for parts of the video to be removed following protests. I mean, what is it? 
I just see that as utterly stupid because anybody with any modicum of intelligence is going to know this is not massively new. disrespectful yeah. to a lot of people. It's not really achieving anything. It's being controversial for. That's why that sort of artist, and I'm doing air quotes for the listener, really fucks me off because it's like, just write a fucking song, mate. It's just, yeah. I mean, fuck's sake. I mean, that's you've achieved nothing. You've just pissed off people who didn't need being pissed off. It, that's not. A, what are you saying about the Nazis? What are you condemning? What, what is your point? Naked tag in a gas chamber. Oh, they would have been naked in there, but not playing tag back in the old days, but we are playing tag. Don't you get it? Get it? It's humour, irony. I'm changing yeah. the world. I probably smell. <laughs> I probably smoke really <laughs> thin little fucking roll-ups. Yeah? And my girlfriend, she's quite pretty, but she fucking smells as well. <laughs> Do you think the girlfriend would wear a black beret and a, a black turtleneck jumper? Or probably, something? yeah. yeah. And, and she's probably a real goer, but like I said, she will smell of onions. Um, fuck that guy. Give yeah. Me whatever his fucking name was. Yeah. Um. um sorry, I'm a bit ranty there, but that's just. Uh, no, it is. It's just like you're. Don't you realise what a dick you're being in this situation? Yeah, I do remember there was something um, I saw quite cool. People were going to the site of a, of a concentration camp. It was either the site of a concentration cham- camp or a mass burial, something like that that has now been turned into a monument. Yeah. And lots of young people like to go there and take Instagram photos in you know, very sort of, you know, poses, you know, look at me, I'm so free with my arms stretched. I'm doing love hearts with my hands. Some artist... The sun is behind me, aren't yeah. I artistic? Some actual artist hacked all these photos from all these Instagram accounts and just photoshopped in the background the graves, the mass, gra- you know, all the bodies yeah. hum, hum, heaped on top of each other in the background of these punty pictures and then sent them back to the posters and asked for their response of like, you know, and it was quite good because the people wouldn't see it in that way, were like, oh shit, yeah, I realise I'm a bit of a dick aren't I yeah. Yeah, but yeah. should art be censored or should stuff like that be allowed to um, I know if it should be censored stuff like that I believe uh, it's over there Mike I think stuff like that where you're just being a dick you should just be told you, should he be allowed to do it that's a very interesting question Mike. Yeah, it is. do I think he's got the right to do it Oh, possibly yeah I guess if he wasn't breaking any laws I mean it's just naked but, tag I mean the Israeli I mean, embassy it's, not, it's, not it's like... naked tag in a place where millions possibly no, well, thousands, thousands were murdered. You know. I mean, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't put a naked tag in a graveyard, would you? No, but maybe the artist wanted, wanted, just to provoke people to get this kind of conversation going. Well, it's possible. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh, I think he's. I mean, there was, there was. I can't remember the artist, but when he, uh, he combined sort of semen and blood. And he did a painting out of it. Oh, lovely. Uh, and it was. Uh, was it either was it the Queen? It was either, I, think it was either, I think it was of Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And obviously, because it wasn't Mohammed. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, but this was like years ago when it, when religion was a lot more powerful. And, um, well, the thing is, I mean, he got a lot of criticism for it, as you can imagine, and death threats, I imagine. And I think he's all right. Let's, so should he do it? He should probably know a bit better. Um, is my opinion. I think. I think anyway, you should, yeah, it's, like, it's like Greg's with the sausage roll. And yeah, but I, that was funny. That wasn't bringing in. A, that was that's making fun of a fictional character. You see, yeah, well, well, you said the same thing about the guy with blood and semen in, uh, making Christ. Yeah, I just thought it was a bit. Character. I just thought it was a bit grim, more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> see, but there you go. This is the thing that I, you know, this is the argument, and it's uh, nub. Is the Greg's thing? I found hilarious, didn't I? Yeah, I, ju- I yeah, went and ate a Jesus today, actually. Because that didn't offend me. Not no, today, because you're an atheist. But, but the guy playing fucking tag, naked tag, for some reason, that does sort of piss me off a little bit, so I don't like that. It's, do you know what I mean? It's, I don't think any art should be censored, we're all, to be honest. I, I think the reaction is your reaction. You've got to control your own reaction to something. I mean, but it, where's the line? If it offends you, I, you, you have to, you to realise why it's offending you. And you got to let it go. Can I murder children and call it art? Well, no, that's a crime, isn't it? <laughs> maybe he was committing a crime, maybe he I was mean, trespassing. Can you, can you do a picture of murdered children? 
Yeah. I can do a picture of it. It's, it's a bit sick. It's also a bit iron like in my eyes. I'd probably have, so give you the number of a psychiatrist if you started to <laughs> kids of murdered children. But can I just but say something? Is, that yeah, we're discussing go. art. If you could see Ben's face, he's doing the faces of which I just made him take a bite out of a sandwich when the contents of which were fresh dog shit, <laughs> wrapped in elephant shit. Like, ben, come on, man. There's art in all things, man. Um, there's art in the way you drive your forklift. There's an art to it, man. There's a, yeah, I'm there's, sure there is. There's an art no, to I, it. No, no, there's an RTB code of... A Code of conduct, RTIB code of conduct, guys. It's not art. It's, hey. I drive it the right way so I don't kill people with it. Like don't wrestling. get me wrong, the thought hasn't crossed my mind. <laughs> you like wrestling, art. that's an art. Wrestling's definitely an art form. If any would say it's it's not only the sport of kings, it's also the art form. Um, you know. uh, anyway, let's not go down a wrestling yeah. rabbit hole. Shall yeah. I give you a new story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, have you, have you got any more? I'm right? done, I'm done. Okay. I might do one. We've got a, a, a ten, a, another potential apocalypse, but we'll go to that okay. after, after you. This this new story will require the listener to Google it and find the picture for themselves. Um, but the headline is: Catholic school forced to cover up unfortunate statue of boy kneeling in front of saint. I saw this. I have as well. Now, <laughs> whoever the fuck <laughs> yeah. approved this is a hell of a sense of humour. Whoever did this statue. Do you think it was um, probably deliberately done? It has to be. Otherwise, I mean. I can't find a bloody picture now. I've got to show Mike. Basically, to describe to the listener, the saint... <laughs> Mike, the the saint is holding a loaf of bread. Yeah. Um, he's holding the loaf of bread quite sort of close to his crutch area, and he's kind of holding it sort of in the way one would hold their penis. And yeah, uh, in the way one would hold their chap. Yes, and, and the young boy is kneeling next to him with his arms and his hands, palms open, extended... Wanting to accept the rather phallic penis-like loaf, the cover is uh, the statue is now covered in a black sheet, Mike, and is going to be taken away. Uh, there's not really much to yeah, this see, story. That sort of art <laughs> you can't go with, can you? Oh, I mean, why are we talking about fucking art? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> but this, there's not much to this story. But all it says after that is basically it's got a few tweets that people put. How did this get approved? And then it says at the end. The same school made headlines last week after a student sent out a prank letter telling Year 12 students that they would have to resit an exam. Can I just say fucking top marks to that student yeah. who scared the shit out of God knows how many of his fellow pupils with a... I imagine on school head, I hope he went full oh, yeah, yeah, full yeah. out and did a really convincing fake letter of, you know, the results were wrong, you have to resit. But yeah, that's the... That's the pedo statue. Uh, <laughs> my second news story. Um, just relying on my uh, on my phone. Uh, talk amongst yourselves, you know. It's not like we're recording or anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. A man who claims he is a time traveller from 2028 uh, re- yeah, yeah. reveals what the future has in store. Is it shit? Yeah. I think wasn't, it wasn't the only thing that he predicted was Trump was going to be the next president again. Basically, yeah. He, he's saying that... Um, Trump will be re-elected. Uh, drones are going to become... Oh, that leads to the last. Mm, yeah. Drones and technology are going to become more um, well, uh, prevalent. Yeah, he's not... He's also he's, anorexic and suffering from depression. And in the video, he... Um, uh, I he, have seen the video. Does he, he eat his own shit? Not far off. He breaks down and is very... Um, uh, uh, sort of mumbly and... Um, I wouldn't trust him. So would you argue that say. this mentally ill man... Yes. Um, has just made this up. Ooh. Um, no. Well, I mean. Oh, he's suffering from some kind of delusion where he thinks it's real. I think he's from the future. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I've got so no way. You, of... you gotta, you gotta give more than that. You gotta why give you pay, more. Why are you paying? Why are you? But what paying? if that is all there is, and there is no flying cars? He's in twenty twenty eight. Though he's got to tell us something more than. It's Trump only ten win, years, isn't it? Trump will win the next. Yeah, Trump will win the next election. Who's gonna win it in twenty twenty six? Oh yeah, what, do we should know that. that. Yeah. Why does he tell us who the president, fucking president is when he when he left? Why so, would he give a shit about politics when he's got depression and anxiety and he's a man out of time? He's, he's trying to prove if he can't even if he can't even mention the president at your time. I mean, that's got to be the first thing you're gonna say. Yeah, everybody knows that. Well, yeah, everyone, everyone. I mean, yeah, everyone knows who the fucking president is. What especially if you, if you live in that damn country. What if, as part of your that t- damn country, time traveller training, time traveller training, you're deprived. 
All right. There's he's, cannibals he's, he's, in Papua New Guinea have heard of Trump. All right. He's just a. <laughs> Maybe we should make a joke about him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. He's not from the future. He's just a dick. But um, okay. My third and final news story, and I saved the most important one for last. Man goes blind in one eye after enjoying massive orgasm. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> he had a lovely time, but then he went blind for a while. Oh, only for a bit. That's, that's just a bit of a feel-good story in the end, then. <laughs> that's it. I really should have checked this before I added it to my bookmarks. That's the entire... How does the Daily Record.com... How does that class as journalism... There isn't a paragraph. It's a sentence. <laughs> By Joshua Barry. Posted on the 20... You, Mr Barry, need to fuck your ideas up, young man. Because I know a bloody good van driving job you could have. And I'll have your fucking job right in one sentence long news stories... New headline news: Man goes deaf for a few days. <laughs> what, do you mean? what kind of shit is this? It's a sentence. That is a sentence. That just shows you that is structured purely for me to click on this page and then be exposed to. And this, it's one sentence. But look how long the rest of the fucking page goes. Uh, yeah. Adverts, links, stories. Fuck, fuck you, the Daily Record allegedly. Clickbait, bastards. So that, yeah, that was my my news. Um, I haven't watched any real news this week, so I've got literally no idea what's going on in the world. Um, and Ben, yeah. have you got anything? Yeah, we'll do um, giant astro- our giant asteroid one. Is it um, that one? Um, yeah, gigantic asteroid could destroy the Earth in 2036. Uh, I, for one, welcome this asteroid, <laughs> and I wish it would turn up sooner. How old will you be in 2036? Let's do the maths. How old will we be? Um, I can't count. So. Mike, you're our maths expert. In 19 years' time. So I'll be... See, that would have taken me an age to work. 54. Here, you'll be 53. 53? That's a good innings. That's better than... Better than That's weird. You, you won't feel like that at 53. Yeah, but I'm saying, you know, people back in, like, 40, 50 years ago... Well, you know, people back 100 years ago weren't making it that far. I'll take that, 53, you know. And you're only welcoming this asteroid because you're not feeling too good today. I'm a bit hungry. You're on a bit of a downer, you know. I can tell you didn't, you didn't want to discuss art earlier, which uplifts most, you know. Oh, it's got its place, but this is not an art podcast. I did not suggest bringing us together to talk about weird shit so we could sit around and talk about art. Well, that, that was not my intent, and I feel like a well, I, I for one welcome the art, and I feel, yeah, <laughs> and I feel yeah. like a bit of a class traitor. We, we can, oh, you want to talk about class traitor? Uh, I was drinking mulled wine at the oh, weekend. Why? You're just annoyed because we're making you learn about art and French philosophy. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Don't make you learn about art and French philosophy. Go my head with weird shit. <laughs> okay, what, what's their evidence for this? Um, um, oh, I love that. Can you just read the opening uh, sentence for us? <laughs> Don't panic, but a giant asteroid may hit Earth in 2036. <laughs> <laughs> Don't panic! <laughs> Don't panic! Don't panic! <laughs> Don't like it up on these asteroids. They don't. <laughs> um, don't or at least pan- it's going to get pretty close. They don't know. It's the the enormous rock is named a a Apophis. A Apophis. A a um, it's it's pretty big. It's, mm. Is it 10 miles wide or something like that? Let's have a look. It's 381 metres a bit long. It's just t- taller than the Empire State Building. Wow. So it's pretty big. That is big. Oh, man, there's an article on the side of the page. Russia's preparing for space war. Mm. Ooh. Can we have a look at space yeah, war? Yes, fuck the asteroid. Yes, fuck the asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> space war. Breaking news. <laughs> breaking news. Asteroid. Also breaking news. <laughs> Russia's getting ready for space well, war. Well, may I say that according to... Um, Mitchell, Edgar Mitchell. Yeah. In the emails to John Podesta, there's already a space war going on, apparently. Well, we're uh, fighting yeah. aliens or each other. He didn't specify. Oh, there's like some, some sort of intergalactic warfare has been, apparently. been happening quite a bit, yeah. Space war. Mm. Russia has begun training its troops for war in space. Chairman of Russia's Federation Council Defence and Security Committee, Viktor Bondolendov, recently announced... Comrade uh, Bondi, Bondi, Comrade. Uh, sweet. Bond, uh, Bondarev recently explained that the current conflict in Syria indicates that all future wars will be fought not only in the air but also in space. Why we fight in space yeah. in Syria? Right now. Hang on a minute. Hang on. What the fuck is happening in Syria that indicates future wars will take place in space? Space Muslims. Sp- <laughs> <laughs> 
the Syrian, the, the ice in the space between them sort of goes down too. Hello, <laughs> Akbar! There you go. Oh, man, do not underestimate the power of Allah. <laughs> Join us or die. There you go. Spate of suicide bombings on the ISS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody ran over a crowd of astronauts with a truck on the space station. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't laugh about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, so Russia's getting rid of space war. We're going to get taken out by an yeah. asteroid. There we go. Oh Weird news. God, I need to research Syria, man. I don't know what's going on there. Bondarev said that Russia has spent the past two years mastering the skill of fighting wars in a new way and that whatever branch of the Russian armed forces take the lead, fighting in space will receive priority, adding that technology will be the key deciding factor in who wins future wars and that it's clear that resisting the means of modern warfare with just rifles and machine guns will be practically impossible. Hang on, I don't want to be all hippie about this, but instead of, <laughs> instead of preparing for a war that... It hasn't happened yet. That there's no indication of. It. You know, why not? Why don't we just say, Nah, we'll never fight in space. Well, Reagan did it in the eighties, didn't he? The, the Star, Star Wars, Wars. yeah, strategic but defense initiative. Yeah. Isn't that to shoot out? It's not actual war in space, but it shoots from space. Yeah, it? it's a missile guard. Yeah, isn't it? it's, it's supposed um, to shoot things out of the shoot, air. It's meant to shoot missiles in space that mm. the Russians might yeah. be able to launch. So why can't we do that with North Korea then? Because they're doing these missile tests. Mm. And the Yanks have got the Star Wars missile shield, and I know the that Americans. they put stuff. Sorry, yeah, the Americans. <laughs> uh, sorry, American listeners. We don't have many, but we do have American listeners. Yeah, we just like sorry. to say we we're glad you're such good sports about our very good-natured piss taking we do of your country every yeah. week. Um, it is good. Na- yeah, I mean, we're the most self-deprecating nation yeah. there is, so, I mean, call us poms, call us whatever you want. Exactly, and I'm basically obsessed with American culture, to be perfectly honest. Um, most of the music I listen to... Yeah, um, It's American, yeah. Basically, 95% of the podcasts I listen to, and I listen to them all day, I would say 95% are American. Uh, so, yeah, I do love America. It's just, we take the piss out of us, we take the piss out of you, we take the piss, to be honest, out of everyone. We were just laughing about... Um, Terrorist attacks about thirty seconds ago. Yeah. Me. So yeah. everybody's fair game. Love you, you Yankee Doodle Dandy bastard. So, so anyway. can I say yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Are they allowed to call us limey pricks? You can call me what they want. No, oh, then you limey prick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can call them. We can call you Yanks, can't we? Um, so the, the, the North Korea's doing this illegal missile testing. Mm. So and and the Americans have got this strategic defense initiative. And they can fire a laser and take out a missile. Mm. Why haven't they just done that? Because that is declaring war on an independent nation. Well, no, because it's an illegal rocket launch. Don't we well, also... Matter. Do you think we have sort of the faith that they can't really do it? And if they ever did, we would. That, no, I, if actually, it ever did get anywhere near yeah. close... The, do you think that the, the US would allow it? No. The I don't first think minute, would. the first sniff of that actual real danger, they'll be in that. Yeah. But what if... And it was always thought at the time that the Star Wars project was actually just a tremendous bluff to push the Soviet Union into bankruptcy because they knew they couldn't afford to do it. Yeah. So does it actually work? Is it all an elaborate bluff? Have they ever? Had to, that's interesting. It, I don't know. Have has anyone fired on the US? No. Since? It wasn't an eighties thing. The Star Wars. Yeah, thing. yeah. It was put up there in the eighties. So. And they just Excuse recently me. put some um, radar dishes that help it in Poland there was a big thing about it because uh, uh, it was so close to Russia mm, obviously uh, so uh, I yeah. guess it's one of them things of you know it's a deterrent would you as a nation someone likes Korea um, I always get confused is it north or south which is evil north north um, evil from a certain perspective ah, I remember. Yeah. Well, Jim, Kim Jong what's his I'm so well we that's <laughs> north shit haircut bloke right okay well it, you're not gonna if you know for a fact they've got this system well even if you don't know for a fact you just think they've got this system that shoots down missiles are you going to waste money trying to find out do you know what I mean this is our most expensive rocket the best we've got oh come on you can't tell me the US haven't got tentacles in in every part of every government tentacles fingers in every pie that's it (laughs) why are we suggesting the American government has tentacles well you know what I mean (laughs) here's an interesting factoid though on tentacles do you know why tentacle porn is so prevalent in Japan 
they uh, it's, ah, yeah, it's a know. way around the sensors to show uh, penetration yeah. or Japanese porn uh, is weird it is, yeah. in the in the genital areas isn't it but, yeah but not in the in the tentacle genital oh, I see. area you see oh, apparently yeah. I heard that on something I was listening to sorry I can't credit you because I have a brain like a sieve but my point is sorry so Korea your best rocket I don't know if America's Star Wars system works or not but let's find out fire the fucker see if it gets there you're going to want to know aren't you will yeah. this rocket get there and I guess it'd be co- and if anyone has fired on the US and the Star Wars system knocked it out, would they report that worldwide? Would they want to show off about that or keep that quiet? Well, you'd think they'd want to show off about it. Is it because mm. they're like it's tearing to others? Because it? it's, yeah, yeah, it's like you you can't get us, and if mm. you do try anything, we have the power to whatever you have in the sky at the time. We can just take it out when we want to. So you'd think as a, a, a as a as a gambler, a bargaining chip, it'd yeah. be. Because you turn around and look and go, pack the missile tests in, eh? Or I'll just knock the next one out of the sky. If it weren't for China, North Korea would be gone. Yeah. I mean, Iraq, weapons of mass destruction, mm. look what happened there. Do you know what I mean? They, they definitely, definitely, they definitely had looking. them, though. They definitely had them. And who, who were Iraq's mm. allies that were big players? Nobody. Yeah. The Iraq, problem was, uh, no, no, you're right. we would all know where the WMDs were in Iraq if Mr. Kelly hadn't have, you know... Accidentally, died. accidentally cut his own wrists in whilst jogging yeah. in the middle of the field. That's probably a future episode. Uh, yeah. Who killed the good? Anyway, doctor? Bigfoot. Bigfoot. <laughs> and uh, how long did the news section? Oh, forty minutes. It's all right. We, we, we're being informative. We're the inter- internet's number one source for fact, semi-factual news and uh, and art discussions apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Can I go for a beer? <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I need to drink after that. Uh, yeah, After yeah. that art. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the hangover that's making you want to drink though. There is that as well, I admit. Air of the dog. So we're going to launch into today's main topic. Bigfoot. Or oh. Sasquatch. Oh, is that his official name? Um, that's what the Native American Indians were. He wasn't called Bigfoot till later on when they took the plaster casts of his feet in the, uh, in the oh, 80s. That makes perfect sense. Oh, He's got big feet. Yeah. <laughs> Call him Bigfoot. Oh, that literally never, never twigged with me earlier. Really. Yeah. Until now. See, the Certainly. Indians do have legends about these creatures, and the Indians, the Native American Indians, are, are pretty clued up as a species, aren't they? Would you argue? I think they're brilliant. Didn't, know, didn't hold on to their country very well. Well, they were. They did joke. <laughs> there was a lot of guns involved that they didn't have. Yeah. Yeah. I love their philosophies and the, the way they looked at the world, um, the way they saw nature as. Yeah. Something that was part of them, not to be conquered like we do, and they, they come up with a, a great term for the um, the West's rapacious greed. Oh yeah, they call it wetico. Yeah, and uh, yeah, at least someone summed it up. Well, they sort of believe in like no possession, don't they? And, uh, yeah, yeah. There's right. lots of studies to say that they're much happier. They're like the original hippies. Um, yeah, well, they're a much happier spe- uh, uh, species <laughs> race uh, of people race, sorry thank you thank you thank you thank you sorry uh, a much more happy and fair and just just in terms of personal happiness just much happier yeah, people and, than and we so, are and so but, we came and gave them uh, smallpox infected blankets yeah. okay but all you know, i want to say um, to you is uh, cars are pretty awesome and we the west, <laughs> uh, the west invented scalping didn't they it wasn't an Indian thing, it's a West thing. Oh, right. Yeah, because Cheris would say, look, we've got some Indians in the hills, you know, go and get their heads. Well, uh, get heads are heavy? Head, yeah, so they just take the scalp. And yeah. They, they take the scalp back and they get paid for it. Yeah, because your head's like three, four stone, isn't it? Depending on how fat your head is. Yeah, I mean, so you, you kill be... 20 Indians, you'll yeah. 20 heads right No, you? yeah, I mean, as long as I've done sitting on that pile, triumphantly, mm. then I'm going to, oh, fuck, I've got to carry 20 heads on. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say about the old Sasquatch then? I basically just got legends about the, you know these wild men living in the woods that are part ape, part man. Cause they, I mean, they, they uh, in 1840, a missionary, Reverend Walker, recorded stories of giants amongst the Indians, and they would take the mm. fish from the nets, and the Indians were happy for them to have the fish, they just left them in the net, they'd come down and get it. And it's just like these legends, you know, the, the star people legends. Do any of the First Nation people? Ooh! I think even that's not PC anymore. I think there's a new one you're supposed to use now. Uh, but for a while they were called. We were supposed to call them First Nation, not Native Indians or Americans. Anyway, uh, do, do they? Has any of them ever claimed to have shared a peace pipe with the old Sasquatch? Never heard anything about that. That's uh, a pretty good mental image, yeah. isn't it? 
Yeah, a bunch of Bigfoot sat around giving stones. Yeah, you had in the pipe and he's. <laughs> Indian man, funny. Yeah, <laughs> don't bar grade the joint now or rip your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Always pass that dude just the left hand side. <laughs> Never miss him out. <laughs> so that's straight away. Uh, so, I mean, that's just, that was. That was 1840. That was recorded. But, you know, there's been a lot of earlier, earlier things than that. That was just um, the, the, this missionary who. Okay. His name they, that's up. where the name Sasquatch comes from, though. Is the First Nation people. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And there's a factoid for you. I've actually learned something already. Yeah. Aye. Um. So the, I mean, if in big, so we, we get, you know, it's we get, we get the first proper film, which we've all, if you've ever seen a film of Bigfoot, I'll guarantee you've seen this film. It's what, the Bigfoot and the Henderson? No. <laughs> <laughs> I did watch that film in preparation for this. Is that yeah, your research? You watched Bigfoot and the Henderson? Yeah, big, I love John Lithgow as well. Great I mean, film. I like John Lithgow. That film though, isn't it quite sad? I remember the bit where he's trying to get him to go back to his family and he's like throwing rocks at him and yeah, stuff. Like, go, go. It's oh. a proper Sunday afternoon. I don't ever go take that heartache. Oh. <laughs> and when he, oh, my favourite, well, not my favourite, but it's one of the classic bits, isn't it? Uh, where they, they need to get through traffic and he just leans his head out the window <laughs> and does the noise of the siren and so all the cars get out of the way. Oh, it's been classic. a long time since I saw that film. Ah, that's a brilliant movie. It is actually, a good film. Um, and it just goes to show you, stick a man in a suit. Wasn't he the guy right. that was Predator? Kevin Peter Hall. Yeah. Uh, Could have been. Yeah, there's He's dead now, isn't he? I tell you, he, he was going to be the first Predator. Originally, before Kevin Peter Hall. I know, this the do, do tell. Jean Claude Van Damme. Fuck you, Dan. And he was going to play, not the person <coughs> that we see now, it was going to be like a giant bug slash fly thing. Oh, right. Oh, I'm glad they changed it. Yeah, they <laughs> changed it. And, uh, um, uh, yeah, but I was just going to say, it goes to show you, doesn't it? Put a man in a suit and no CGI, and it might, all right, require some suspense of belief because it clearly is a man in a suit, but. It's tangible, it's real. Um, I was listening to a, a RoboCop, a podcast about RoboCop the other day, saying exactly the same thing. Like, yeah. That suit might not have been the best in the world, but it was real. It was an actual object on film. Same with Harry and the Hendersons. Um, yeah, because now, if they remake that film now, it's going to be, oh, be CGI, a CGI of course. Harry Henderson. That's actually it? one of my criticisms of the, the yeah. Avengers trailer. The Infinity War trailer. Oh, the the CGI. One, is Thanos, Do you remember though? I know. I know it's not Do you finished. remember it's not quite finished? Yeah. Uh, but it was just like, and I saw a great meme where someone had put him there as Homer Simpson. Yes, yeah, so I saw yeah. that. And Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think he looks bloody better than he did though the first yes, time. Yes, that's um, true. Uh, yes, we we digress. Digress. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so if you've seen a Bigfoot film, mm. a, a, a sighting, you've seen you've probably seen the Patterson Gimlin film. Um, which was shot in 1967 in Northern California. Mm. Um, basically, Patterson had no money. What money he had, he went in and rented a camera. And he went out to basically make a film about Bigfoot to get some money. Mm. So he went out there to make a film about Bigfoot mm -hmm. and just so happened to see Bigfoot mm. uh, with, his, with his mate uh, Gimlin. Um, Gimli? Gimlin. Gimlin um, the Gim. Yeah. And um, Patterson died in 72 from cancer anyway. And Gimlin mm. has kept quiet. He's denied any... Denies the hoax and he avoided any publicity until 2005 when he started doing a few he, sort of... He, doesn't, uh, he never opens his Gimp mask. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his mouth zipped shut all the time. He's on nowadays he doesn't... He's allowed to speak he's occasionally. He's got a ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to do the press My conference. client has got a ball gag. You can't answer your questions. <laughs> Oh man. So um, so yeah, and he now he does a few Bigfoot conventions and speaks about it. Right. And what did, what was he what was his involvement? He uh, they just went out with him. They were on horseback. So, they went out. They so went so, out so there was two. Of them. Yeah. Bit, of, so, bit, of, bit of loving in the woods. Well, uh, well, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's well, two of them. Bit of heavy bondage. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the gimp mask comes in. But there's two of them. Could you say one behind the camera and one in front of the camera? Wow. Well. well. We'll just go through what briefly happened. Is Gimlin freak? freak no, freakishly there's a guy. That, there's, a, hairy. there's a guy. <laughs> there's a guy. Uh, uh, someone has come out and claimed they made the suit, and there is a guy who's claimed to be the guy inside the suit. But we'll get to that. Right. So the film is 
Bigfoot is squatting by the river. Mm-hmm. Having a shit. Having a shit. Right. <laughs> Presumably having a shit. Okay. And then this, a bit. And then he gets up Does and he, he goes up and he looks, he half turns to look at the camera to look at. Does he wipe with his ass? Look of that's utter that's annoyance on his face. <laughs> it's if you can sense annoyance on a creature's face, you know this is. I was having a fucking shit, guys. <laughs> And he just storms off through the woods. Mm. Um, it's about nine, eleven seconds long, something like that. Nine, ten, eleven seconds long. Mm. Didn't they think to collect the scat? <laughs> this, this assuming I was actually just putting that in for comic effect. Oh, okay. But there was a fucking giant ape man just strolled off. You know, going, oh, hang on, we're just going to get his shit. Yeah, of course you are. A scientist would. You got, the, you got yeah. the footage. Hello, blood in the feces. You got DNA. Bingo. You got actual proof. 67. Would they have had the DNA? The DNA been cracked by 67? Yeah. 50s was Crick and Watson, wasn't it? I don't know. You're the science expert. You're a science officer. You're a resident <laughs> science officer. If I'm the captain and he's my number two, you're the science officer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like number two. It just sounds. I don't like number con- one, sorry. You're, gonna be, you're, you're yeah. Riker in this scenario. I was going to say, I don't yeah. like the connotations behind number two. <laughs> it just sounds a bit. Who am I then if he's Riker? Because I don't know who the. Uh... Wasn't the science officer the chick? Oh, yeah. Um, no, wasn't it Jordy, Dr. Beverly Crusher? Jordy the Forge. Beverly Crusher. Oh, he was the engineer. He Jordy. was head of engineering. I'm Crusher. You're Crusher. Oh, 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 she was. No, not Beverly Crusher. The other one I used to fancy. The Dana the, Troy. Jesus the Christ. Kem- Kemsler Troy. Yeah, she used to make me feel funny when I was little. <laughs> she just had un- unrealistically large breasts. They were yeah. insane. And, and the one-piece jumpsuits. It's all one-piece oh. jumpsuits. No Sorry. seven and nine, though. No, although I will maintain that Picard is a superior captain. To Kirk? Yeah. Oh, um, he's probably better at it. I don't know. He's better at his job, and he? he doesn't just randomly go off and fuck some bird and he should be talented and <laughs> shit. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather go drinking with Kirk? I'd go drinking with Kirk, but yeah. I want Picard in charge of my who, ship. Who do you want to be with when you get into a bar fight on some alien planet? Oh, Picard could hold his own. I reckon he could. Nah, you don't want to be in a bar fight with Picard. <laughs> <laughs> no, he ain't going to help you. He would. He would try to calm fight. everybody think, down. Exactly, he wouldn't have the fight because he'd be diplomatic and so everything. Yeah, but Kirk would just smash yeah, a bottle exactly. off the bar and jab it in some green bastard's face. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's escalating the situation. Picard would do it in a way that everyone calms down. Everyone goes back, watches, finishing, watches the football or whatever. Yeah. And then at the end... He yeah. phases them in the okay. back. <laughs> can, I, can I tell you my only complaint about... I used to love The Next Generation. Yeah, it was one I grew up with, I've so got, I preferred it. I do prefer it. One yeah, yeah. big complaint about it, and it's kind of a visual thing. I'll try and explain it to the listeners. But why the fuck... Oh, because there was about seven or eight series, wasn't there? Yeah, and yeah. A number of movies. Every single time, and I mean this without fail, no matter what series it was and what iteration of his costume he was wearing... Every single time Picard went from a seated position to a standing position, he did this. Now I'm going to show the boys and then describe it to the listener. He would stand up and he would go. Yes. Every single time he pulled his jumper down to... Why the fuck didn't they just make him a costume that fit? Did, did the director never notice this? Did the costume... Did nobody... Did the editor... Did nobody ever notice over eight seasons? Every time he stands up, he has to adjust his fucking jumper. His first. onesie. Are they onesies? They were in season one. They were onesies, actually. So maybe he didn't do the adjusty thing in series one. But he did it a lot. Um, and that's I'd put you complaint. off, though, wouldn't it? Join or you know, but you have to wear this onesie though. Yeah. <laughs> really? I don't know though. <laughs> you are going to space though. Yeah, but you can see your balls. <laughs> <laughs> but it does encourage you to stay trim because there's nothing worse yeah. than being in a onesie and having a gut. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But there is, yeah, there is ball display, and yeah. I imagine there's a bit of camel toe going on amongst the female officers. <laughs> it's got to be, isn't there? It's just, yeah. You know, it's just one of them, one of them things. Well, I know. No, it's space, so it's Klingon toe. <laughs> <laughs> Klingon forehead. Klingon head. His crotch looks like a Klingon's forehead. <laughs> she had a crotch like a Klingon's forehead. No, sorry. Uh, we a head like a fanny. <laughs> <laughs> Should we um, go back to Bigfoot, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, this has been a good one. So I bet the Mrs. Bigfoot's got a hairy fanny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mike, they are literally covered in hair, so... <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Can you put it in But like, I like it dangerous. I like it a bit fishy. <laughs> but isn't it? Oh, imagine that. I'm just no. Don't judge me. But I was literally just trying to imagine, really imagine in my head how a, a breast that was fully covered in hair, like my dog, how that, <laughs> how that would actually feel. 
and whether or not I could. I was considering or not whether I could fuck a big foot. <laughs> if my breasts were big enough, I don't know, would the hair put me off? Probably. It'd put me off. Possibly. She'd have to be tame though. I don't have to. You know, I don't have to wrestle her first. Well, apparently, a lot of the videos I've watched this week show these big foots. A lot of them, people claim that they have quite mm. high intelligence. I mean, I watched this redneck woman explaining to a big... She doesn't have high intelligence. Well, she, she had a game of chess with it. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah, a bitch will beat her. Yeah. <laughs> um, talking to this Bigfoot investigator, and she was like, oh, yeah, they speak English. They come round every morning, ask for food. But did she say it like this? Yeah, they don't speak in the English words when they move their mouths. <laughs> I think... But, you know, she lived, well, lived right in the, in, the, in the woods in a cabin, and you know, mm-hmm. and he was like, uh, well, "She's a credible source." She's a, she's are we, a are credible we, are we source. aware of the um, the saying "cabin fever," which they apply to truck drivers and people? You know, you've just been alone, stuck in the cabin so long, you go a little stir crazy. I imagine it applies to actual cabins in actual woods yeah. as well. Yeah. Is she, was she married? Uh, no idea. No uh, idea. Uh, you got a lot of time say. to make up. Plus, it can play tricks on you, can't it? Being alone and, you know... And I suppose it could do. But she claims they were talking to her, so I mean, how... They were spit. They'd come round every morning and ask for food. Is she tripping balls? Has she Possibly. Been, has she been eating <laughs> mushrooms? I do love that phrase, tripping balls. I need, I need to use it more. I feel like I need to use it more. Is it just a family of, of bears? It's a family of fucking Bigfoots. It could have been a There's family There's juvenile of... ones, there's teenage ones. I think the teenage ones are sexually aggressive, what? probably, as well. What? <laughs> What accent? I mean, because you're a teenager. Okay, it speaks mm-hmm. English, but with what accent? Oh, she, she just did this sort of growl. Tell the teenagers, they've got the skateboards on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Baseball caps on backwards. <laughs> Playing really loud music on the phone. But she, she just got as like, um, it's like a growly voice. Mm. So but they do speak English. So, yeah, there you go. Oh. They are meant to have some kind of intelligence, and there's a lot of them, apparently. Which you think the more of them, the more chance of them getting spotted. Uh, we'll go. We'll jump to the yeah. the end of the film. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have t- an interesting factoid about that film. I don't know if it's a factoid, but I was watching today um, <coughs> an episode of Joe Rogan questions everything, and the first episode is in search of Bigfoot. And he's talking to a guy who s- talks about the way this quote unquote Bigfoot moves in this footage, the way it walks. It walks with a kind of like its hips and its legs, its knees are slightly bent. Yeah. So that. If you watch it, its head stays level as it's walking, whereas we bob up and down. Walking in a way, it's not walking, because some people look at that footage and laugh and find it quite hilarious, because it does just look like a bloke mooching yeah. along like... A bloke who's just a shit. Yep, oh, I'm in Toodaloo, now working home. You know, he's just got a bit of a... But then this guy was pointing out, yeah, look at its head. It's And it is walking with slightly bent legs, but that could have been because the costume didn't fit. Um, that could have been the stitching was too tight. Well, he was um, the guy who made who claims to have made the costume had a company that specifically did film costumes. Right. Um, so they, they weren't they were they were old hands and knocking this sort of crap up about. Okay, but what do Not you crap, guys think? You know I mean? What do you boys think of the way it's walking? Do you think clearly a bloke, or do you think there's yeah. something to it? Yeah, I mean, uh, apparently the um, the guy who's called Bob Hieronymus, neither Hieronymus Bosch or something. Mm. Um, he claims to have been the man inside the suit. He was a big guy. And he wore short American football shoulder pads mm. to make his shoulders appear bigger because they said that was one of the things that you can't write off from the footage okay. is the shoulders and the size mm. in general. That could, like you say, though, he says it's pads. Even if it wasn't pads, that could be built into the yeah. costume. And but... um, even to hold sticks in his hands as he because the, make the, the, so the suit is bigger. Mm. So he's holding sticks and that's making the arms look more right. convincing. So... That's what he claims, um, but obviously uh, Gimlin says it's not a hoax, even though they went out there to make a Bigfoot film and made a Bigfoot <laughs> film. Because do you, uh, chimps and gorillas can be bipedal, uh, but they, they they look different when they do it, don't they? A chimp mm. doesn't walk like a person. It's not built the no. same, is it? It's got them little... It's got a... I don't know, but then a Bigfoot isn't a chimp, though, is it? It's a... Well, here we go, then. Here's, here's a question I have for you. I should have, could have researched myself. Do people believe this is part? Uh, what am I trying to say? Is this a monk? Is this in the same line of evolution as you know? Apparently, we came from the monkeys. The Neanderthals. I'm, I'm getting it wrong. The Neanderthals was a different branch. Oh yeah, they were a different species altogether, weren't they? There's that missing link, isn't there? 
Right. So is he somewhere in the chain? Yes, they think he's the missing link. So he's monkey. Well, I'll tell you something interesting in science Okay. Okay. So, sorry, just for me on it. So he's monkey family, not like... He's, he's, mon- he's not his own... He's, he's, he's on the way to being us, essentially. He's that missing link. That they they've always had trouble. Well, they don't know. It's a speculation. Yeah, speculation. It could be a completely different thing. Could this, this is Bigfoot people. I'll tell you that there used to be yeah. a, a creature called the Gigantopithecus. Yes, this is fascinating. Yeah, this was a giant ape that was between three to five meters tall. Wow, that's a big ass. And they haven't found skeletons. There's no. Oh. They haven't found skeletons. They've only ever found teeth and jawbone. That's it. They've but found from the teeth and jawbones, they can they estimate, estimate the height between. Three to five meters. And they mm. died out thirty thousand years ago, and they've been found in India, Vietnam, and China. That, yeah. that is very intriguing because it could. Uh, so, is it? A, could could it be a Gigantopithecus? Yeah, yeah, there'd be possibility yeah. unless they can speak. Well, it apparently died out thirty thousand mm. years ago. Well, they're always finding species they thought were extinct. That's true. Because I mean, I'm no expert, but there are some incredibly dense. Woodlands of America, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're they're it's so giant that they must be. I mean, they can map it from the sky, can't they? And things, I suppose. But there's. <sighs> I'd love to think there's one out there, but I find it, I find it easy to believe the giant, a very big species, once existed and possibly there's a few remaining alive. Yeah. Speak in English though, because that's yeah, that's, 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 that's ridiculous. Because we yeah. had to build culture and society before we evolved. It's like a thousand years to imagine, language. yeah. And how could you evolve language in isolation? Do, do you know what I mean? Like, and, well, I suppose animals do, but it's not. You need it, though. Chomsky, yeah. um, Chomsky found out that if you put a baby that is French, for example, mm-hmm. yeah, a baby's born French in, in France, but it's put into like a Italian mm-hmm. family, mm-hmm. and all the grew up learning to speak Italian. Yeah. But if you... There have been cases of feral kids that haven't learnt any language, mm. and by the time you get to about twelve or something, it's impossible. Oh, okay, something you've got to develop. It's imprinted. This is it's it's, a, it's, a, it, it's like a gene that needs to be activated. Uh, this is slightly related. Um, there was a study done that babies cry with an accent. Did well, you know I've that? heard that. Yeah, yeah they, they, um, like French babies, their crying tends to mimic the intonation of French speaking the same in German (laughs) no but like it might have an upwards lilt maybe intonation and in Germany it's more stuttered German babies don't cry they're too stoic (laughs) (laughs) and reserved in German so uh, see that giant because I uh, one of the guys I follow uh, Graham Hancock one of the guys who believes in um, uh, ancient there were civilizations that were wiped out, basically. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I know that theory. Uh, and he dedicated his life to actually finding physical evidence. And I've seen pictures of him, I think, posing with this jawbone or this tooth or something. He, because uh, he's just a guy, a proponent for the fact that everything's older than we think it is. Um, and yeah, I'd love to think that. See, there's some. But see, it's little tiny bits of evidence like that is why people won't let this go because this is one of the big ones, isn't it? There oh, are yeah. there are actual scientists. I think there's well, anyone can call themselves a doctor, can't they? But there's a That's lot of them on the internet. But there are people dedicated to this, aren't there? There are. I mean, there's um, Bigfoot hunt. There's Bigfoot groups. I mean, there's the re- oldest research group is the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization. And Mike, have you got? Because there has been some very recent stuff. Um, the Yeti bones. Yeah, I, I did look into the Yeti. They're still looking at it right now. So, yeah. can I go a beer before we do the Yeti? <laughs> go and get your beer, Ben. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the Yeti. What you got for us, Mike? Right. We're going into the Siberian wilderness. Mm. Twenty-five thousand square miles. Wow. Big. It's a big ass wilderness. Yep. January nineteen fifty-nine. Russian okay. called Igor Dyatlov. <coughs> friends were hiking and they never returned. Is this a Dilat De- De- Love Pass it incident? Is. I love that. Have you seen it, have you? Yeah, I, I know. I've heard a couple of podcasts about this. Yeah, I've heard yeah. a couple of podcasts about really It stuff. is, yeah. I watched the documentary on I think um, something happened for them. Discovery Channel. Yeah, not to cut ahead. The Russian Yeti, the killer lives. You know, the idea of them like, some, something happened that they, they started running about. Shall I get into it? Yeah. Oh, you got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this related to yeah, the Yeti? Yeah, yeah, Yeti, yeah. Go for and it. then you can comment, comment when you find something interesting. 
Go on then. Hit us with some knowledge. They found the hiker's tent abandoned with the clothes and boots still inside. Okay. Okay, so these people went hiking, never returned. Mm. Uh, I think one of them was meant to call somebody when they got so far, never mm. did. They went looking out for them. Didn't find them for about two weeks, I think. Well, okay. Because then bodies would be preserved. The bodies cold. were one kilometre away from the tent. Right. Two bodies were in their underwear. Mm. Okay, and there was evidence of them trying to climb the tree. Right. There's a little fire at the bottom of the tree, mm. so they've been there for a little bit. Three more bodies were found face down in a different location with wounds on their hands and fists. Right, so they've been fighting. Looks like that. And, and the didn't somebody have their eyes? Yeah, and the lips four missing. remaining hikers were found half a kilometre away, crouched, hiding in fetal positions. And the official autopsy uh, found horrific injuries, such as crushed skull, ribs, missing eyes, missing tongues. The bodies were mutilated, and whoever did the autopsy said that no human could have caused those injuries and they were caused by a compelling natural force aliens aliens it's one well, of the theories um i think th i did hear somewhere that the, the missing eyeballs and lips was basically after whatever killed them killed them certain animals it's uh, quite possible yeah would yeah, have absolutely. gone for those soft because the latest ones were found like about a month later yeah you know like, yeah. i don't know what animals are out there but Mammals, birds, that type of thing would go for those soft jelly bits. Jelly bits, basically, yeah. But what but was interesting, the tent they found, a lot of people with their clothes and boots inside, so they left the tent without boots. In a rush. But so what is interesting is that there were tears from the inside, inside yeah. so they were ripping the tent open to get out. So what was inside the tent? That's the thing. Did well, either inside the tent or approaching very quickly. Mm. Yeah. And they couldn't maybe couldn't Something go out of the scared the fuck out of them, but they left yeah. the tent in... Their underwear yeah. in minus in, yeah. fifty. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, this this morning is your dick gonna be in yeah. minus fifty? Because there's loads of conspiracies Very. around this one, but I find it fairly compelling. It's just obvious something. Got to be animal, you know. It didn't have to be an alien or a yeti. It could have been a polar bear, couldn't it? Could have been. Yeah, a, I don't know bear, what Asiatic, is out there. Asiatic bears, right. brown black bears. Could have been Putin. And it could have been a massive fucking yeti. It really could have yeah. been, but um, some did fuck these people up. And yeah. like you say, Mike, the most compelling bit to me, obviously, to everyone, it's got to be that somebody was so terrified, like you say, they didn't even put their boots on. Yeah. They knew that cold out there would kill them anyway, but some instinct, fight or flight, they fucking cut their way out of the tent and legged it in their fucking pants. Yeah, but what was also at the tent was large footprints. Mm. Like mm. man, like men, like... Mm like a man but bigger and I've seen the pictures and everything it looks pretty legit I think Yeti or yeah. massive massive bear the locals call the area the Mountain of the Dead oh so nice name never go hiking with the Mountain of the Dead no and I've heard other conspiracy theories about frequencies and something to do with re a research station nearby something sent them yeah there was there was, there, was a, there was a missile there was a missile launched at the same right. time that, that day or something mm. around the time and the last ca last photograph is blurred with lights in the sky. Mm. But some aliens. people, some people think <laughs> aliens. Some people think that a missile hit them. Oh. So they saw a missile coming in, and mm. then would you see a missile? I mean, they're going pretty quick. You hear it at first. You hear it, but why cut your way at the tent when you go? Oh shit! Yeah. And you just run out the door. Well, you? because every, there's, there's, there's nine people, so not everyone can get through the entrance of the tent. Yeah. Mm. So they're ripping it open to get out. That is a possibility, maybe, but there was no evidence of a missile crash there. No, I think you'd, you'd notice if a missile had crashed, yeah. wouldn't you? There'd be a lot of uh, debris and scorched. And Some people think that the local tribes were called the Mensi tribe, did it? The Mensi tribe? Yeah, Ooh. the local Siberians, you know, like the people that lived there before. The that could be possible. They smashed them over the skulls with stone hammers. Yeah, but the, so yeah. But the, Soviet, the Soviets did interrogate them, but they they didn't find any leads. In other Substitute the word interrogation for brutally beat I was, up. I was going to actually say, does that tribe still exist? Or did they, did they sort still of disappear exists. after this? In the document, yeah. on the documentary, they went, they went to go and see it. Ah, right. And they went to the village and they spoke mm. to one of the people. Um, it was a, a child, I think, at the time, or, or, or their parents were. And they remember it and they remember all the, all the police coming in, interviewing them all. And interviewing It was torch. a big thing. It was, it was, you know, nine kids from the local university... Oh yeah. So went hiking, uh, been murdered horrifically. Man, no explanation, was it? Yeah. See, I never knew about the that the extent of the injuries. I used to always 
was under the impression that maybe someone had got hypothermia, got a bit nuts, as you do mm. when you get hypothermia. Yeah. You think that you're really hot. That is one of the theories, and, and they stripped off. That yeah. is stripped one off, of the and then he just yeah. ran away, and they, they were, oh, we've got to yeah. go get him. In and a state yeah. of, um, but yeah. then how do you explain the other? Well, you can't explain the injuries with that, yeah. can you? And that's what they, unless something attacked them, they could. What you just said could have happened, and perhaps something attacked the dead bodies. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. A bear, yeah. fair, a bear fucked with the body. Well, the footprints you know. are a bit odd. Yeah, it's, yeah. See. Maybe one of them just had massive feet. No. I mean, do they check the shoe size of the, of the campers? Now, on a on a sort of related note, this is factual as far as I know. Uh, there's documented evidence. Now, I might be wrong now. I might get me dictators wrong. But the Russian one. Stalin. Stalin. I'm sure. <coughs> right. It must have been him. They were seriously trying to crossbreed humans and they were. Monkeys, monkeys to create a sort of... Super soldier. Uh, super soldier. <laughs> Did, I don't know if the timelines um, um, mean. Could it have been one yeah, of these? They, did one of these escape a laboratory? They, they do, but officially, I mean, I like mm. where you're coming from. Yeah, it's a good you. idea. But officially, it and biologically, apparently, mm. it cannot happen. Right. You cannot impregnate a monkey but even in they vitro. They tried. tried they, they, they did try. They legitimately <laughs> tried. Yeah. So my, I'm just saying, uh, theorizing. Well, yeah. Say one of well. these creations escaped the lab. You know, it's on the run. It comes across yeah. these young students and ravages them. Yeah, it's possible. Mm. Well, a year before, in 1958, mm. there's official documents that have been released by the Soviet government. They actually set up a, a snowman commission to catch a yeti in 1958, no yeah. But um, they didn't report any findings. It's still classified. Oh. It was shut down in January 1959, the same time these people went missing. And maybe they found it yet. Maybe they just used mm. them as bait to draw them out. Yeah, and then maybe. Mm. Yeah, uh, the US sent a report uh, to the Russians believing that the Yeti would soon be discovered. Right, it's okay. A bit, a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the official file was opened 10 days before the hikers were confirmed missing. This is the official I uh, investigation. Mm. So before they reported mission, the official investigation is already opened 10 days. On their, on, you know, but they've been missing for two weeks before they found them. It's almost like they knew it was going yeah. to happen. There was a note left in the tent as well, I forgot to mention. Oh, oh. I forgot about this bit. Uh, yeah, it says, say? now we know the snowman exists. Ah, I don't believe that. I think that, that bit's been added. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we, I don't we remember had, that. Ah, ah shit, Yeti! Uh, I, just, ah, I just make a note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bollocks. No, that, apparently, that it was, apparently it was written on uh, one piece of paper, but it was just them words scrawled quickly, like, you know. Well, why don't we just write fucking Yeti? Yeah. Why can we go so he's a bloody... Oh, no, we know the snowman is <laughs> fucking Yeti! I may have just written... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what I understand is why he went to the trouble of using his kidney as a full stop. Boys from the door. Does this... Uh, have you got any more on that one, Mike? A little bit, yeah. Um, well, the local tribes call it a menk. A mink? That's a bit yeah. macho. Oh, and me. apparently they say it's two to three metres tall and they found uh, deers with their tongues ripped out. Oh, oh not Bambi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if they were uh, fucking talking deers, like in a Disney movie, <laughs> I can imagine one of the other animals getting pissed off and fucking ripping its tongue out. <laughs> yeah, and the official files that were released about this uh, incident... Some of them are still missing to this day. They haven't been released. Ah, it's just Soviet bureaucracy, that is, mate. Yeah. You can trust. You can trust so Ivan. He's all that, right. This then relate to the new, the recent Yeti news. Mm. Yeti news. There do, is do, some do, recent do, do, Yeti do, do, news. There is. I'm going to go through a timeline of all the major events. Okay. It's not that long, and we'll get to it. Okay. According to H. Saiga, the Yeti is part of a pre-Buddhist belief. The Lepacha people worshipped a glacier being as god of the hunt, apparently. Oh, nice. So he's a bit of a god then, too. So. According to H. Saiga, this is all from Wikipedia. Who's he? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't click on his name to find out. <laughs> I love this show. Mm. <laughs> Remember, listener, you are the fact checker. Very so, true. And we uh, did hear from a, a yeah. fan, actually. Oh, yeah. Um, did we? Uh, well, our Spanish fan, um, Paz, and um, she said that Toledo is indeed in Spain. Oh, where did I say it was? Um, I don't know. I think we were... Um, uh, oh, it was the... It was the Men in Black episode, okay, and it was Toledo in America, right? And we were like, well, "Where's the original Toledo?" And we were like, "Is it in Spain?" And she corrected us. You and see? She, she confirmed that. So there you thank go. you, Paz. 
like I said, that's our, our sort of subtitle, our, our motto. You are the fact. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, just we so look up H. Siger and wonder who the, and find out who the tell fact us who he is. is. Yeah. What's he saying, Mike? Okay, that's all he said. He he he, he did some research and found out that that they believe in this glacier being the god of the hunt. I didn't expect the Buddhist thing to be pre pre Buddhist pre Buddhist yeah. Oh. So I mean Buddhism's mm. what two and a half thousand years old. Mm. Okay. Yes. yes it is. And then yes, we've got yes, yes. the first. Then we got the sightings of the Yeti. In 1832, James Princeps Journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal. Ooh. Thrilling read, I imagine. See, I like this part. Bengal, that's a really hot part of the world. That's India, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. so, we had India, and you had all these like gentleman explorers just trotting off, <laughs> and like, oh, I say, I'm Asiatic, eh? Ah, <laughs> oh, turn up, tell them I'm British, everything'll be fine. Yeah. Oh no, they're cooking me! <laughs> <laughs> he claimed that the Sherpas with him saw a tall bipedal creature covered with long hair. Oh, I suppose up in the mountains is very snowy. Yeah. In India. yeah. Well, so, Nepal is like literally uh, the roof of the earth, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, I like that saying. Yeah. That's nice. That's a bit poetic and artistic. Then. I've heard that expression <laughs> before. Yeah, so, so I'm stealing it from somewhere. <laughs> in 1899, Lawrence Waddell uh, wrote a book called Among the Himalayas and he reported large, strange footprints. Okay. Yeah. In right. 1925, N.A. Tombizi, a photographer of the Royal Geo- Geographical Society, Okay, so he's no mug at the time, I imagine. No, and that's a good thing. It's like we need someone to send to a really shit part of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. give, give him the card. <laughs> even though even though he's a photographer, he he only writes he saw a creature described as a yeti near Ooh. Zimu Glacier. It's disappointing that he never took a picture, yeah, isn't it? Really, isn't it? <laughs> but, but the thing is, though, I agree. But at the same time, it, just because he's a photographer doesn't mean he's always got. His, I mean, mm. my profession is I'm a professional driver. I'm not always driving. I mean, we could bump I'm a into each cunt, other. Cunt, but I'm always a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but my, we could bump, in, we could bump into each other on foot in the middle of nowhere and be like, "Oh, guys, you could have drove us back. <coughs> Where's your van? You're a driver." And I'd say, "Yeah, but I haven't got it with me." So he might not have had his camera with him. Here's my point. I'm just sticking up for the cunt. But he's yeah. probably full of shit. But uh, <laughs> I'm just saying it, you know. And it is jo- Joe Rogan brought up a good point on the program I watched earlier with regards to this. The photographer didn't have his camera. Do you know how many in the woods of, of America, to do with conservation and hunting and things like that, how many motion sensor cameras there are set up? There are millions of them. Yeah, there are. And, and not one as... Or if it I, did, have, I have seen Bigfoot set up uh, on, a, on a national park camera, Yellowstone Park, I watched today. Okay. And there's a family of, a family, air quotes, <laughs> four of them trotting across a field right. on this official... But, could just be four tall dudes. It's in the distance. Uh, okay. Yeah. So back to the Yeti timeline. Yeah. 19... Yeti, can we, oh, sorry, just if anyone's wondering why are we on the Yeti, I would say that in terms of mythology, the Yeti and the Bigfoot are fairly. Yeah, I'd say so. They're cousins. Aren't they? yeah, right, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, so. it's pretty much the same fucking thing. Yeah, except it's, it's one's the same on one bit. side of the world, one's on the other side. Yeah, so, you know, simple as. Yeah, and I'll get to that in a bit. Because mm. there's a lot of other creatures around the world that are similar. Uh, has, has everywhere sort of got their yeah. lost big creature yeah. myth? I've got a sighting in Britain. Have you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They all even <laughs> shed a gourd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got the cheese rolling. <laughs> As any foreign listeners, uh, we have a, a competition in Britain with cheese rolling where you basically just roll a hill, roll some cheese down a hill. I did hear an awesome old story of like, um, a, <laughs> some... British village or something, the, the, the mayor was killed with cheese because <laughs> back at these old, I should have... I don't know why it's funny, but... I think it's sort of in the around the 18s. Did, did you something. get guilt until he died? It, it was when cheese was on giant, literally huge wheels. I could it, fucking it, go through one of them. And it was kind of some sort of market and it kicked off, it got a bit voiced, you know, it turned violent. And someone just upended these giant cheeses and started rolling them and uh, killing people, <laughs> yeah. uh, massacring people. Fantastic. It was a fucking terrorist incident involving cheese wheels. <laughs> the most delicious uh, kind of terrorist I acts incident. Fucking love this island. I know we fucking moan about it, and it's part of our national makeup to be miserable and uh, fucking. Br- it's fucking ace, though, isn't it? Really, in some regards. It feels a bit warmer. It, well, I don't know. I love it. I, uh, I can't stand the cold, so. Uh, we get about three months uh, uh, okay. Yeah. No, it's bracing. It's, 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 it's the rest of the time is miserable and 
fucking wet. It sort of lets you know you're alive. Yeah. Right? You step out in a cold morning into that, and you see your no, breath, no, and it yeah. wakes you up, and you're like, yeah. yeah. And you're like, this is the sort of, you know, this climate, if we had anything other than this climate, we wouldn't have created all the art and comedy and, like, we wouldn't have been, I think, so eager to take over the rest of the world and sort of... We're trying to get some uh, of a better climate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just to... Uh, I, I, I just, I'm not being jingoistic. I just, stories like the someone killing the mayor with a wheel of cheese. It's just stories like that. It's very it, British. Yes, it makes me feel, you know. So, back to the Yeti, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, well, in 1951, Eric Shipton actually took photographs of large footprints in the snow. You can see them in Wikipedia. Well, at least he took his mm. fucking camera. Yeah. <laughs> 1953, Sir Edmund Hillary ah. reported seeing large footprints on Everest. Mm. Interesting. Mm. These snowshoes, snowshoes used to be massive back in the day. Yeah, that's true, it? though, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, there's a difference between a, a circular sort of snowshoe and, and footprints I suppose there is yeah, yeah but how accurate are these footprints are, you know are they like it does snow a lot up there it you could. know like the general shape of my foot is in like a sort of rectangle yeah. let's say with well, thinner pe- at one people, end people argue that the snow's mm. melted away and made it look bigger uh, yeah. you don't know you, 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 I've never heard just, of that that's quite I've obvious heard I suppose that, isn't it I've heard that Hillary had had some kind of mm. thing I remember reading about that 53 wasn't yeah, it yeah, you've got to trust a man named was it Ed- Sir Edmund Hillary? Sir Edmund well, he wasn't a sir at that point. No, probably not. But yeah, he sounds like the sort of bloke you can trust. Yeah. Um, no, he's but that's the thing, I don't deny him. that any of these people did see footprints, or what they think look like footprints. It doesn't mean it fucking is one, or anything, mm. but I don't deny that. I mean, I was watching a bloke on that Joe Rogan show, was, he came, it was quite funny, he says, now I'm not one of those people that's obsessed with Bigfoot. And Joe <laughs> Rogan just sort of does this look around the guy's... Lab- laboratory I guess. <laughs> it's just plaster casts and pictures everywhere just <laughs> nothing but and he's like you're not obsessed huh <laughs> okay well there is a yeti um, institute <laughs> oh, well yeah, it's yeah. So. Uh, apparently they've got 5,000 individual testimonies on record you see if I live near one of these areas I could imagine me oh, becoming yeah. easily obsessed with it to be yeah. honest well in 1966 the Bhutanese government uh, actually made a stamp that was made to honour the Yeti and... Aww. And Getting more recognition than Chewbacca ever did. Yeah, and up to the 60s and 70s, the Yeti was... <laughs> it, it was a it was a big culture in, in Bhutan. Isn't he like a bit of a national sort of icon? Kind of, like, they, they, On the football shirts, they're, 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 they're crest to be a Yeti kind of thing. Like, yeah, we have three lions. But it died out in the 70s when TV was introduced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I guess it's sort of like... TV killed the Yeti. I was about to say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about television. I did that bit, but I know that, I know that TV was invented. Uh, invented was introduced in Britain in the seventies. Just, you a bit just of put two and two together. Yeah. Good on you, Mike. I like that. Okay. Taking a bit of a, a, a leap there. there. Yeah, are you yeah. editorial 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 the editorial 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 We've got to have our own opinion. We're allowed. We're journalists now. He's going to be right with the Daily Mail if he carries on fabricating stuff. <laughs> Fake news, move on. Well, I think we've established we could all write for the Daily Record. One yeah. fucking <laughs> sentence is not a news story, you dickhead. Yeah, I wanted to know why that matters, yes. how good it was, <laughs> yeah, and how could I get that? <laughs> I'd go blind for a bit, for yeah. why that good. Yeah, so would I. I'd just lie down for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Run eye patch on, look, look Listen dramatic. to a podcast. Yeah. Listen to this podcast. Yeah. yeah. But an so, eye patch on look, look dramatic. There you go. <laughs> you know. Look at pirates. So there you go, dear listener. Is that the cat? I'm not hearing anything. Cat's outside, so you're hearing oh. stuff. That's in the headphones. Uh. It's looking the cat. It's a ghost cat. Uh. <laughs> um, so yeah, dear listener, if you ever have an orgasm so intense that you're blind... Uh, Please tell us. Yeah, and just listen to this podcast. And you, you trust that your sight will return. And tell us how good it was. Yeah. And, and how we can achieve it. Yeah. So, back to the Yeti, Mike. Uh, <laughs> 1970, mm-hmm. British mountaineer Don Williams saw a Yeti foraging for food. Don Williams is a good, honest name, isn't it? I was just Don, saying, isn't Don he a country Old, singer? Donald Williams, Don <laughs> Williams. Good old, good old Don. Uh, Don. Yeah, you've got to trust a bloke called Don. I've yeah. serenading a Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be country songs. I looked into its eyes. <laughs> and it Don ripped Don off my arms. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he playing the guitar? I said I love you. <laughs> Who's he playing the guitar with no arms? <laughs> 
Well, this is when he was serenaded, then he ripped his arm off. Oh, 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 yeah. I ran my comb through the hairs on her breasts. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask my barber friend to help me find her vagina. <laughs> You'd never find the clip, would you? <laughs> it's probably massive. <laughs> <laughs> Do pull up top it. <laughs> you can please your big foot girlfriend and get fit at the same time. <laughs> you punch it to turn around. <laughs> so if you got cold, you just crawl up into the vagina. <laughs> Use one of her lips as a blanket. <laughs> I was wrapped in the blanket of her labia. <laughs> They're not being 20 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Proportion. <laughs> Why am I the same one in this? <laughs> a dwarf could go up there. A dwarf? Yeah, all right. Maybe Tom Williams is a dwarf. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we were talking about Don. <laughs> Good old Don. Trust really Don. Woo. You know, it's a classic love story. Dwarf meets <laughs> Yeti. <laughs> dwarf falls in love with Yeti. Yeti rips Dwarf's arm off. <laughs> he writes love song. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, one for the ages. It's like Casablanca. Oh, man. Any more for the Yeti, Mike? 2009. US TV presenter Joshua Gates found hair samples and he had them analysed and it, it came up unknown DNA sequence. Ooh, see that's proof. Yep. There's something trying to out. Unless unless the results were forged. Or flawed. Or flawed. Yeah, like, I mean, what, what was the quality of the laboratory they were sent to? Exactly. I mean, well, if they didn't to me, right, yeah, I'd be yeah, sitting yeah, down yeah. and I would a I'd just go... Uh, yeah, you'd write back, I don't know what the fuck uh, this uh, is. Uh, it's uh, some species this unknown. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing, Nicky? <laughs> <laughs> don't know. It's not dog, yeah, I can tell you that much. Don't there you know. go. Yeah, don't, don't know. Don't yeah. know. But then in 2013, uh, two hair samples from Bhutan and Ladakh, India, uh, came up as 100% matched with an ancient polar bear. Yeah. Matched with a jawbone found in Norway. Sweet. Okay. A polar bear so big I could ride on yeah. its back. Yeah, dates back to 40,000 to 120,000 years from the yeah. Pleistocene epoch. But I can ride on its back, yeah? If it's a massive yeah. ancient polar bear, I guess. So, so now look, now, I know this is going to come a shock to both my uh, co-presenters and the listener. Um, I'm not a biologist. However... You're not? Being, no. However, no. I am You've been yourself off as Dr. Dr. Vincent I, I, I on your business cards. I know, going to college. <laughs> um, uh, there are species alive that could be classed as ancient. I'm thinking crocodiles. Yeah, the crocodiles are the oldest, aren't Shark. they? Shark. Sharks. Sharks. So, in theory... Cockroach. Potentially. Kraken. One Actually, of these ancient polar bears, or, or an ancient bear, could have survived, in theory, without any human ever noticing it or seeing it. Because, I'm saying, the precedent is there for... Something like a crocodile has lasted all these millions of years without change. Possibly it's somewhere extremely remote. Could there be something we believe to have died out thousands of years ago, still mooching about, Yeah. but nobody's spotted it. Absolutely. But nobody reliable with a camera yeah. has mm-hmm. spotted it. I, I, I agree with that, absolutely. I mean, they're always... <laughs> they're, 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 they find a fish that they thought was extinct. Mm. One of them... You know them like them really nasty Jurassic Park fish with like ah uh, yeah like you know, dinosaur fish basically but no, smaller okay and then but they've got like a really horrible jaw and jagged teeth mm. and they found mm. what they pulled on there at the sea by like, just by mm. pure chance and like yeah. oh shit what the fuck's that turns out that we all thought it'd been extinct oh, for like, finding new species yeah, so especially insects and yeah. arachnids and things yeah fucking bastards <laughs> but uh, we, don't, we don't need more arachnids I tell you that much. But no. yeah, so, so we do pull, we do find stuff that we thought had gone extinct. Yeah. Mm. And this is my advice: to the elephants, you know, tell everyone you've gone extinct, and then fuck off somewhere remote. I can't believe it that, that, that our government are letting ivory into this country. Are they? What? I thought they voted on something. That's the Americans, mate. Was it the Americans? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, the um, Americans, then. I thought we did. He, he dropped the ivory ban. Um, we were going to. Yeah. Um, oh, she wanted to do it in the manifesto, Theresa May. Yeah. That we would allow ivory back, and then she said, uh, and then they pulled it out. 
Well, that was it. Yeah, the, yank, the Yanks have done it. A group of, um, I believe, in ours was a group of uh, millionaire antique dealers. Oh, funny that. Yeah, wanted to probably wanted their piano keys redoing. Uh, yeah, and this is why I've been depressed about the world. This is why I avoid the news, like the plague. Thank God for podcasts. Yeah. Um, uh, it does get you down. It really, it really it does. does get you down when you sit and. I mean, I've heard snippets and things, but I mean, um, we grew up hearing about you know ivory poachers and that. It was mm. a big thing. It's been that long now, thirty years. You think that people are still going out there and poaching elephants? Mm. What the fuck is going on? No, I like elephants. I've always, so wanted, I've always wanted an elephant so I could take it around in a transit van. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, as a baby, you can just uh, put it in the back of the transit van, take it out. I was listening to an interview. Great. An interview with, of all people, Henry Winkler, the Fonz, ah. um, was on a podcast and uh, he was talking about an elephant. And it turns out he's a very sweet, a very sweet, I would have thought gay, to be honest, because uh, he was that sweet and sensitive, but then he mentioned wife and kids. But anyway, <laughs> he talked about, he met an elephant in a foreign country where elephants live, and um, and he said he looked at its eyes and, it, and he was brought to tears within seconds of looking at the elephant because he just felt that it was so... Like what? Well, not human, but you know what I mean. You could tell there was soul and some like their eyes. It looks like there's a lot of feeling there and stuff. I mean, it could be just the way they look because apparently this is something I heard. Dogs, because dogs have eyebrows. Yeah. We yeah. project emotions that they're not really feeling mm. onto them because they're able to, you know, raise and lower their eyebrows. So it makes it look like oh he's angry. <coughs> oh, he's sad. Oh, he's, but he, he really might not be. He's just mm. his eyebrows are moving. Anyway, it could be the same thing yeah. with elephants. So they, well, with my, yeah, with mine, Max, he's, he's mm. got his tan eyebrows because he's a oh god, it makes it even so it's even worse. Even so he's got expressive. a really expressive face. Yeah. And it's like, oh man, he looks really sad, especially yeah. the way his jowls hang down. Mm. So it looks like he's constantly upset, and you're like, uh, and there's his eyes, and you're like. Oh, do mm. a biscuit, and then yeah. all of a sudden, oh, yeah, of course I do. Tail goes, that's it. Yeah. There is definitely something to elephants, though. Basically, I got into that because I was saying that okay, their eyes do look kind of human and soulful, but maybe it just looks that way. But the, you know, the stories of them going back and killing people twenty years later, who killed their. Have you heard, ever heard those kind of stories? Oh, they, I don't know. An elephant never forgets. Village. Well, that's mm. where they come. Like villagers killing a baby elephant. Yeah. In front of the mother, and then like the same elephant, sort of years later, mm. coming back to that village and rampaging and nice. killing a lot of people with tears streaming down its face. Wow. Um, so it basically, is that mm. elephant the, the elephant version of um, Michael Douglas in Falling Down? <laughs> yeah, mm. Quite possibly. Yeah, yeah. Just had enough one day. Um, and I'm sure I've seen nature documentaries where elephants go and visit their relatives that like elephant mm. graveyards yeah they're quite sentimental yeah. i've heard that yeah um, i watched this one heartbreaking it was this mm. little baby elephant and he was struggling on these like big massive planes mm. and it got lost like a dust storm oh, no. and the dust settled you could see the elephant trying to catch up mm. he was going in the wrong direction oh, no. yeah man he's just gonna die mm-hmm. it's like oh. you feel yeah. that you just want to turn it around and it, oh, yeah. didn't they the bastards they, they, they just I would. I, I like it. I'm a baby elephant. It's great. Like I said, I'd have one taken around the transit van. It's great. <laughs> but I think doesn't now. I'm. I'm, t- I'm not informed on this. I'm just half. You know. But doesn't a lot of isn't a lot of the ivory trade. We we presume it's to do with rich, high end people and uh, jewelry and things like that. But isn't it a lot of it to do with sort of more, ancient medicine and things like. Yeah, uh, Chinese. Chinese. Um, yeah. Uh, I, th- I don't know. They have a thing with tigers be, as well, don't they? Yeah, the I could be completely wrong on that, but that is a big element element of it, I believe. But it's, just, I know what you're saying, Mike. In this day and age, are we not fucking past that? I know. For Thirty Christ's years sake. ago, this was a major issue. Yeah. It's still going on. Yeah, you know, like, just stop killing the fucking elephants. Yeah. Stop killing other rhinos. Stop, stop killing the rhinos. them. To kill it's such a magnificent great. beast for one small yeah. part of its body as well is is the worst part of it. Yeah. And it's not as if it's something essential or. You know, um, then what would happen though, to try and steer this back to our main topic, would this not be the case if Yetis would prove to be real or Bigfoots, would they not very quickly be systematically. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, hunted down. Uh, hunted. Every specimen we could possibly. Yeah. Even if we only found one specimen, do you. Okay, here we go. Here's a hypothetical situation for you guys. We find, we put eyes on this specimen. 
uh, and we locate it. It's in the American woods somewhere. Do they leave that species alone to and study it from a distance, or do they go in, tranquilize it, take it into captivity, and study it in a laboratory? Take it into captivity. It. I well, believe so too. A lot of these groups, there are Bigfoot hunting groups. I watch the videos, and they're going out there with rifles trying to bring down a Bigfoot. And you think, and that would have, they, yeah, the, the scientists would take one into captivity, and then you get some fucking dickhead fucking dentist like the one who shot that bloody uh, lion yeah, yeah, and go, I'm, a, I'm a big gay man what's mm. more the closest thing you'll get to shooting a human isn't it shooting a fucking giant ape fucking hell they, if they get off on that them and their tiny penises they get off on it we've all seen King Kong it all ends up a disaster mm. it all ends it's up with a majorly true. pissed off giant ape but yeah um, and these big fo- and these I mean, there's been people who claim to have had the corpses and they've gone missing and they've shot them and killed them. <coughs> like, Why are you fucking shooting them? Ah, so is there, is there a Bigfoot Men in Black division? Maybe. So you, you tag a Bigfoot and get it back to your ranch and, uh, you know, you tell a couple of buddies over the phone and then next thing you know, a sort of redneck Men in Black. Yeah. Basically, Men in Black, it, but instead like of a black suit, he's got... in denim. No, no, he's got... Double denim. No, not double. He's got the... Um, Hunting camouflage gear. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He's yeah, got yeah, the yeah, camo too, on. Yeah. You know, uh, he looked like one of the guys from Duck Dynasty. He turns up. He probably is a bloke from Duck uh, Dynasty. Like, asks if horrible, he can horrible. look at a glass of water. Yeah. yeah. And then while you're getting a glass of water, he fucking nicks your big foot and corpse. Yeah, yeah. His buddy yeah. comes in. Go 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 go. Oh, no, it's, Possibly. Uh, I hate that prick. I hate that fucking show. I've never watched it, but I hate that it exists. I, you know, they're on my radar from clickbait articles that popped up where they say one of the guys I don't know who it is involved in that show but one of them has got some really shit opinions on uh, it's, it's the, um, the, the, the I think it's uh, the, the grandfather Phil Robertson or something like that he's very religious he's and, a um, fucking bigot so yeah, yeah. I, I'm even less inclined to ever he's very much a Trump such. fan mm. you'd argue or Ted Nugent fan even he's, oh, he's pretty much Ted in line with the Nugent. Nugent. Jesus Christ it's so weird, isn't it? Because you just assume anyone who has anything to do with rock and roll has to be a liberal or a demo, you know? Yeah, yeah. They just have to be, don't they? It's rock and roll, bro. But then, no, you become rich and you, by your nature, by your definition, become... Who Who did I get angry with the other day? A celebrity that I was fucked up with. Gene Simmons? He pisses me off. Uh, I think it might have been Noel Ga- yeah. Noel Gallagher, Noel Gallagher. He, he came out and said Corbyn was a communist dude. that's it, that's it and I lost my shit, I went on right mm. rant because I love Oasis, I love Noel and I love Liam and um, and I was reading this, and I was like, "You, that's what happens when you get rich, basically. Yep. Mm. You're a council estate lad, working class lad, done good, but now you're just a very rich man. So to you, yeah, yeah. Corbyn is a fucking communist because you you've got interests now. Well, you've got the people, financial fucking these interests. These the people yeah. behind Blair. Yeah, I remember you were at that fucking you were you were Brit- R- cool Britannia. You were there at number ten giving you. Uh, uh, Union, Union Jack, Jack guitar, yeah. guitar to Tony Blair thinking you're fucking cool and then Liam just summed it up uh, the, I fucking love you Liam you're a simpleton you'll always be a simpleton, a simpleton. And that's why I fucking love you you're a council estate legend who just happens to be world famous and was in one of the most famous bands ever he said something like Noel's just a fu- well it's just a fucking boring old Tory isn't he no? it's just yeah. Noel isn't yeah. it yeah. Uh-huh. yes it fucking is Noel because you know Liam's still fucking I'll have a cheeky line if there's one going <laughs> yeah. hey, fuck yeah. and there's Noel worrying about his bottom line and his investments mm. and his offshore fucking bank accounts oh and Corbyn's a comic you out of touch bastard Noel fucking and your, last, your latest song shit by the way I heard it on the radio it's last fucking year, Glastonbury Fucking seventy odd thousand youngish people and middle aged people singing the old oh, Jeremy Corbyn, listening to Corbyn do a speech. You would think, no, being a quote unquote rock star, rebel, man of the fucking people, that you'd notice that and think that Corbyn's pretty fucking decent because the people you rely on to buy your tickets, that come buy your records, and turn up at your shows are still working class people for the most part. So to call fucking Corbyn a communist, oh, fuck off now, I'm done with him now. I used to yeah. fucking love him. He really was one of my music, and I'll still enjoy the music, but I'll never fucking listen to a word he says. What a cock. Sorry, I rant over. I'll give you that. Yeah. I'll give you that. Rant over. It's not very Bigfoot, but what a tosser. Out of touch. Well, anyway, I'd imagine back- maybe, maybe Noel does have big feet. Yeah, well, no, he's, he's a little bloke and he's only tiny. Well, it's stirred probably, you in the wind that way. Probably got a little dwarf devil feet. <laughs> 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 but, 
Yeah, Spring Hill Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Shall we, uh, um, so we get back to our so Yeti your big face? Foot, uh, and the Yeti, they could of course be uh, extraterrestrial visitors, which will explain why we've never got a body of them, because they somehow phase back into, or multi-dimensional, they could be interdimensional, that's another theory. Mm. So there's a dimension out there, let's say, where humans have evolved to this same state that we have now, it's just physically we're different, we just kept the hair. Or maybe, it's just, or maybe it's just a case of they just, they're in another dimension and there's some kind of tear in the reality and they wander through and then wander uh, back. Yeah, it could be that simple. You know? Um, well, what's the I'm alien going, theory? I'm going out on a limb and saying that's a, that's a bit of a stretch. But what, what's the alien theory? <coughs> they're just literally visitors. <coughs> More like Predator. Yeah, maybe. Just gets oh. dropped off. Yeah, to go and hunt. <gasps> oh, shit. Ma- a bear, you know, to take a bear on with your bare hands, is, that'd be a challenge for any alien, I guess. You well, know? yeah, and... Yeah, humans and polar bears. Perhaps they took their eyeballs and tongues as souvenirs. But apparently, Maybe. Bigfoot hunters. So there's a Bigfoot out there with a necklace of tongues and lips. <laughs> yeah, he's got full Dolph Lundgren. So he's not. <laughs> cute, he's, yeah. <laughs> he's not cute like Harry and the Henderson. No, he's got a fucking necklace yeah. of human parts. Yeah. And his fur is matted with dried blood. And yeah. Then, oh. He's a psychotic like, is, is killer. A spear made out of a human spine. Oh, 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 oh. that's metal as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that must have been the most metal thing I've ever heard. Yeah! Oh, Hail do, 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 do. Oh. I but, think my spears were the spines of my victims. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> definitely pirate metal. <laughs> pirate metal, that was very yeah. pirate metal. Like, oh. No. I actually did see Hailstorm at a donut. They were fucking great. Oh, and the Tavern Wench. Oh, my favourite one of those. Um, Bigfoot Hunters. Is it Bigfoot mm. Hunters? Oh, God. Uh, apparently, they've been having run ins with, is, is with orange orbs <laughs> before they see a Bigfoot. They, they think that these lights are alien in nature and so, um yeah, Once renowned, again, renowned, renowned, a, uh, renowned Bigfoot hunter, renowned. Bill Brock. Now, I say that if you're, if you're a renowned Bigfoot hunter, I want you to have fucking caught one. Yes. <laughs> right? Not, not, I keep seeing it, but you get uh, away. No, you're a you're fucking renowned. renowned hunter. Yeah. If you're a striker, right, but you didn't score all season, but you kept getting really close to the goal. Yeah. And then hoofing it over the top. Would they say <laughs> prolific striker? Re- re- yeah, renowned, prolific. Yeah. No, no. You may be renowned for the wrong reasons. Renowned for being shit, and he hasn't found one. So I, I'm with you, Ben. I'm willing to say, sorry, mate. I know you've done put more effort in it than me, but you're still shit. Yeah. Because you haven't found one. Just like I'm a shit alien hunter. Yeah, exactly. I'm a shit supermodel hunter. I'm a shit ghost hunter. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a fucking ghost. I've never seen a fucking alien. I'm a I've shit certainly never seen ghostbuster. A... Yeah. Awful. Um, but Bill Brock, he's the first speaker at com- this conference and at the first of the weekend to raise the idea about multi-dimensional portals. Brock re- referenced a recent NASA announcement that magnetic portals may be real and he came to believe in them when he travelled to West Virginia to student the Mothman case. There's another fucking cryptid he never caught as well. So, in that case then, if we do, if, if we do catch a Bigfoot and he's, from, and he's interdimensional, we could ask him, hey, dude, we won't kill you, just let us know. Where's that missing Malaysian Airlines flight in 370? <laughs> because apparently that went through a wormhole. Did you see that? Is that hanging yeah. around? Is that stuck in one of your trees? <laughs> I mean, I imagine Are there a bunch a... of humans just turned up in yeah. your dimension? <laughs> I imagine you're from a tree world, a bit like the Ewoks village. Um, oh, no, they're a bit like sheik, are they? They're the Wookiees. Imagine it came back and it was like being flown by big foot. Big foot. <laughs> it's all to the teeth. <laughs> and he's got a pilot's hat on. <laughs> it's <an> invasion. <laughs> He's mounted guns to the yeah. wings and stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> the Wookiee's gone bad. <laughs> My guess he was quite a good Wookiee impression. I don't know if we're going to know, but yeah, he's... He does have a, a Wookiee impression yeah. in his locker. Oh, go on, Mike. No, I don't know, man. Don't know. <laughs> You're not drunk enough. That goes, that, that's Red in 99, isn't it? Got to Red in 99, yeah, Red in Festival 99. It's yeah. Sort of what, what, what happened in Red in 99, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I can understand that. Was that the, yeah, wasn't the year I pissed in the tent, was it? <laughs> that was at Leeds 2001. That was a year later, yeah. 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 This was the Isle of Sheppey, guys. That was it, when yeah. you got to go. I don't even remember doing it. Exactly. <laughs> it's fine. Was that off my face? I don't even remember doing it. I've done a lot of piss 
pisses that I don't remember doing. <laughs> and then somebody like, asked me the next day, why did you piss there? Like, so, this morning <laughs> when I had my missing time incident, <laughs> when I got home and then about half past one and woke up on the front room floor at ten to five. Uh, with a sore anus. I think I was abducted by aliens, guys. You seem quite confused as to why you would lay on the living room floor for that long, but I posit to you that you were exceptionally pissed, man. <laughs> it's not beyond the realms of possibility that you just lay on the floor and thought, this will do. <laughs> with no aliens. Missing time, man. <laughs> no mystery. Just like, oh, those stairs seem like a hell of a challenge right now. I still have my coat on and everything. I like that coat. It's a smart coat. And I think I still have my hat on. Yeah, I did. I had my hat on because when I came down in the morning, my mum said, Max had your hat last night. Don't why... leave your hat on. <laughs> but I don't get why you're so confused about it because... You were exceptionally pissed by it. Like, then I woke up in train stations, police cells. Like, how did I get here? Hospital beds, literally. I've done them all. So, living room floor, it's, you know, you did I know, not I'm so aliens. My arm's no. been sore all day. I'd work up with a chest freezer and be kidney missing. <laughs> is, that, is that a Tinder date? <laughs> Tinder date gone bad. <laughs> Was there a second date? <laughs> <Yeah>. There was! <laughs> Leave me with a kidney, the bitch. Did she have a Russian accent? <laughs> Svetlana, yeah. Sorry, sorry, Russia. Oh, also, I did see on the stats we had one listener in Pakistan the other day, so if we make any Pakistan jokes, we have oh. to remember to apologise to them as well. I can't, keep, I can't keep track of all this. <laughs> We've just got to stop Basically, this being is stereotypical. The, this is the modern world we live in. We're professional. You, you're still allowed to joke. But immediately after every joke, you have to point out that it was a joke, apologise in advance to anybody who <laughs> could have taken any offence by that joke. That's how it works now. Uh, so, you know, it's a mouthful, but we can still take the piss. Yeah, it works for me. So, um, um, would you we, like to know about the Bigfoot in the UK? Yes, come on. Uh, we, we've done nearly... Two we've hours? done quite a bit, yeah. We're yeah. nearly on the... Two hour mark. Yeah. So, um, the best of it is, this guy is... This is from The Sun... Uh, should we explain? Should we all have a sigh just when yeah, I say the sun? Uh, the uh. sigh. But to, um, to international listeners, uh, uh, which we're not just wankers saying that, we have actually got them, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, the sun, how would you explain the sun? It's a rag. It's a rag, but it's like the rag. I wouldn't of rags. wipe my arse with it. Yeah, exactly. This is a, a little brief story t- for the listener and for you guys. You know, you're aware that in spa shops, which is a brand of a nationwide chain, they give away sun the sun for free. They do, yes. With every yeah. purchase, they offer it to you. Uh, and because I'm a delivery driver, I'm in different times, different days. Um, in the morning, I went in one spa shop, would you like um, a free copy of the sun? And I made a joke about toilet paper, and like, no, 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 I wouldn't even use that to wipe my bum with. A couple of hours later in the same day, I went to a different spa shop, and was offered a second sun, and was able to make the same shit joke <laughs> a second time. And it felt fucking amazing. It's such a good feeling to say no to something free. Yeah. And you can't even give that to me, sweetheart. Yeah. I have no interest. No. And it's not, when we say rag, it's not like the daily, re- uh, what's the other Weekly World News. Yeah, it's not on that level. They do claim to be, which Reckon is why I hate them the most, they claim to be actual journalists. And they claim to be the newspaper of the common but, the, but they're not. They switch allegiances. Aren't, aren't they supporting the Rupert Tory? Rupert Murdoch's yeah, paper. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. a piece of shit paper. So. They incite hatred. They're always yeah. fucking getting... They lied punched. about the Hillsborough disaster. Yeah. They've tapped uh, murder... Vic- uh, murder the oh. families of murder victims have tapped their yeah. phones. I love living in Liverpool because they hate oh, they the sun. Yeah. that paper. Yeah. So what do they say about well, Bigfoot? Does, does have like a good sports section though, I'll give it that. No. But that's it's the only saving grace. Um, they do have some big names right for them in, in terms of sport. But uh, this guy is um, described as a Yeti enthusiast. <laughs> Jason Parsons, 40, 40 years old, captured eerie footage uh, of the side of walking through woods on a Caffili Mountain near Cardiff in oh, Wales. I know the area. Um, the footage allegedly shows Bigfoot shaking a tree. No. On the Welsh mountain side. Mm. The only light um, has died, I think. He oh, failed yeah. to notice the ape like creature the first time round and spotted the. some matches in that. Oh, no, this so, this is it, hang on. So. Oh, legend. He, oh, he, was, cool. he was recording on his phone. Mm-hmm. He failed to notice the ape like creature the mm-hmm. first time around <coughs> but spotted the figure when he watched the video when he got home. So, mm-hmm. you got noticing a large ape like creature. Shaking a tree in front of you, 
until you get home. Oh, I've also and done video with the uh, with the gorilla and the basketball. I, I know, but you are literally looking, mm. and uh, I, I don't know. I mean, he's a big foot enthusiast. I'm going to argue he didn't notice it till he got home because that was when he spliced it in using fucking folks, yeah. some kind of editor prick. Because these enthusiasts, who I imagine they're, you know, if if we're there to be believed that. that their daily routine or weekly routine, let's say, or whatever, is to go in the middle of nowhere, set up cameras in different locations for massive periods of time, then go home and review the footage and see if you find anything. That, I imagine you would have to film millions of hours oh, and watch yeah. millions of hours. But they, yeah. but they all... I don't think... I'm not going to deny that they exist, I don't think, because I don't know, but I'm going to deny that anyone's caught... I don't think anyone's caught. Are we one. wrapping up now, are we? I, well, I don't know. Have we got any... I, um, you any sort of famous sightings? I can um, do a slash, so maybe yeah, we can we'll always go for another ten minutes and... Uh, Let's go, yeah, we'll have a break and go into our final stretch. Final stretch on the... So, um, where are we then? Well, we'll go, should we go through all the, all the different kinds? We'll go on then. So because, yeah, if we've got more stuff, we'll just keep going, so, man. Oh, our own, our own resident podcast animal has entered the room. Chester the yeah. cat. He's come out from his, come back in from his hunt. <laughs> what do you think, Chester Bigfoot? No, he's he ain't gonna answer. He's too arrogant. He's a cat. I mean. <laughs> okay. So in, 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 in Central Asia, there's something known as the almas, which I've heard of that actually. Yeah. Uh, in the Philippines, it's the um, uh, mamba. I'm a mongo. 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 Find it in the Congo. In Bangladesh, it's called the Ban Manush. In Afghanistan and Pakistan, it's called the Bar Manow. Oh, what if like, in Afghanistan you've got a bunch of like US special forces attacking Bigfoot? Oh, that's a hunt. film there for you. That's a, there's a fucking mm. film. Bigfoots versus fucking US oh, special yeah. forces. Oh, and ISIS. A bit Planet of the Apes though, isn't it? Yeah. But, yeah, it's still good stuff. So where do yeah, we but not to? if it's got, a, it's got a spearman of a human spine. Ooh. Oh, well, yeah, because they're saying. The that's what the fucking chief's got. The, yeah. the next one sounds good. The Southeast Asia, the Batutut. Ooh, Batutut. It's a, that's a Bigfoot in a Batman suit. <laughs> Fuck yeah, take my money. <laughs> in Tajikistan or Iran, it's known as the Diva or the Div. Now, I'm going to sound like a bit of a Div. I know I don't know all the countries. I've never claimed to, but I can honestly tell you now <laughs> that is the first time in 34 years I have heard Tajikistan. 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 There's a, there's a lot of stands around, and they're all together. It's yeah. like Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, but, Turkmenistan, okay. Uzbekistan. Uzbek, they're all kind of around each other. All I've heard of most stands. of them. But Tajikistan. All, that's actually, a this, new is, one. this is where Championship Manager comes in because I'm ah. pretty sure Mike's had a because he. Buy. He's the Harry Redknapp of the uh, Township Manager yeah. world. He, he goes and buys dodgy phones. Weeding and, and dealing all over Weeding the world. Weeding and dealing all over the I world. I did have an Uzbekistani, didn't I? You, I'm sure you've had a. a oh, the Turkmenistani one. Oh, it was a Turkmenistani. He's a Turkmenistani keeper? Could he, he play? He was a striker called um, uh, Vakit. Vakit, yeah, because he was like, he's a real Vakit. player. He's a real player. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. Did he score many goals? For you? Yeah, he was, no, I was a villa, wasn't I? Yes, you were. And he was very good for me, yeah. Wow, um, tales from, tales from Ben and Mike's championship, championship manager. manager. <laughs> um, Siberia's a, a cool one. The, the Chukunya. The Chukunya. Chukunya, yeah. Chukunya. Or something like that. Oh, we've got, we have got a name for one in the United Kingdom. Fear Leaf. Yeah, that Scotland. sucks. But it, says, really it says Scotland, though, so you've got to say that with a Glaswegian accent. Uh, fear Leaf. Oh, there we go, Gaz. I'm not allowed to hit. Right, Gaz, as you're the man of accents, you've got to go through you got to do an accent for each one. Okay, we'll try for You can't opening. do a Japanese accent without being racist. I can't. They're really all going to sound racist, so <laughs> you can't do accents without being quote unquote racist. Okay, so we'll uh, do, uh, them, do them in English first. <laughs> okay, the United States, we've got the Fuki Monster. That's the Fuki Monster? <laughs> <laughs> Bit Australian, I think. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. trying to go for the southern. Uh, Fuki. Uh, Fuki Monster. That's better. That's better. The United States, the Grass Man. Um, a different, so. Uh, Grass, uh, grass man. <laughs> He's a grass man. I swim yeah. in the fucking grass. <laughs> Chicago. I'm like a freaking man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, Japan. 
The Hibagon. Ah, Hibagon. <laughs> they probably fucking really reverentially. <laughs> they bow when they say, yeah. oh, Hibagon. <laughs> He's so big. <laughs> India. <laughs> the Mandi Barung. <laughs> the Mandi Barung. <laughs> South America. <laughs> the Mapingari. South America. <laughs> um, that's quite general. Um, Spanish, so, basically. Um, uh, oh, so, so hot. Oh, you uh, shit on the fucking uh, South American culture, uh, Mike. Uh, yeah, just Spanish, it's all right. <laughs> well, the is, uh, they're all the same. They're all the same. There's no Spurs, man. Spanish. Like, you got the choice of Spanish or Portuguese, basically. <laughs> the mapping Gorari. <laughs> <laughs> Russia, it's the Menk, which we just. Men's Menk? The Menk. <laughs> In the United States, Momo the Monster. Oh, I like that one. Oh, my God. It's like Momo the Monster and stuff. <laughs> Canada the Nook Look. Um, Nook 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 Nook. Sorry, sorry. Eh? <laughs> In Malaysia the Orang Maras. Now I want you all to listen to the clear <laughs> intonation <laughs> difference between Malaysia and India. Yeah, and, oh. and Indonesia, which we put up next. So. No, Orang Maras. And if there are any Punjabi speaking listeners, I'm going to impress my co-host now with some absolute Punjabi fill. You, you, you went the wrong Wait. area though for Malaysia. Malaysia's oh. more. Oh, yeah, it's Thailand, isn't it? That yeah, area. Thailand. I just wanted to say Penchud, and, and I'll tell you guys now, I'm saying the worst Punjabi swear word there is. It apparently translates roughly to sister fucker. Wow. Um, yeah, so. Uh, which, uh, brief story. Was doing a delivery to. Well, you fucked you were going to say you were yeah. doing your sister there. Uh, <laughs> yes, I fucked my sister. Uh, I was doing a delivery to. Um, uh, now my best friend's Punjabi and Sikh that's why I know this and they use that word like they use it as punctuation in fucking sentences <laughs> it sounds like anyway doing a delivery to some uh, Sikh customers and there was something wrong with the order and the one guy looked at the other guy and he was like they were slagging off the sales rep and he was like bam chug. and I said oh, I hope you don't mean my sister <laughs> and there was like a slight brief pause and they both looked at each other looked at me and then just fucking pissed themselves <laughs> and like, how the fuck do you know what that means <laughs> Man of the world. <laughs> so anyway, and, and back to my <laughs> shit accent. Man of the world. Um, Indonesia, the Orang Pendek. Um, now, this was more Thailandy sort of area, yeah. yes. Um, the Orang <laughs> Pendek. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, man. Yeah. <laughs> United States. I can only do that kind of accent as if I'm telling someone to shoot himself in the head during a shoot like that. Though no, I could, that's the only tone I can do it in. Yeah. The scar, I like this one. The scum cave. The scum cave. That's fantastic. United you know, States. Now, I wonder if that... Uh, is that a recent addition? Because he's like, you know, a ma- he's a man in the woods. He's kind of, you know... He's, so in China, they call it the... Yellen. Oh, Yawen. Yawen. Uh, Australia, the Yowie. What a Yowie. <laughs> Say the size of that Yowie. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I saw this fucking massive kangaroo that was ripped as fuck. <laughs> um, they are, they scare me. How yeah, much they got they uh, pecs and abs and they punch yeah. you like fuck. And doesn't it look so unnatural and weird when they stand on their tails? Yeah. It like, looks like that shouldn't be physically allowable. No. But it is. So... So then, but so obviously, all there was a lot of disparate areas around the world there. Who Absolutely, all have their own Bigfoot legend and their own remote areas. Mm. I mean, so, some of the, some of them are like Indonesia, the jungle, the jungle of Indonesia. We forget who lives in that. Leads me on to say then. That leads what me kind on. What the jungle? Who lives in that? Who lives in the jungle? By the way, why did yeah, back Australia? Why did the lion get last? Oh, the jungle is massive. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, but so here you go then. Uh, I'm trying to do some actual journalism now. So these these areas, one thing in common, like you just pointed out, is that we can't get to, that we can't fully explore. So, is it a natural thing then that comes by from living near in one of those areas? You are bound to develop some sort of mythology about a mythical creature who is rarely seen, only half seen, slightly yeah. seen. Yeah. Uh, and that's just a natural part of living somewhere like that. Yeah, and absolutely. Oh, the vast majority of Bigfoot sightings just bears. Because bears yeah. do stand up and walk about a bit, not for very long. And if they've got mange... But, well, there you go, yeah. You which is another thing, they have mange. They, they don't look as furry, they look skinnier. Yeah. I've seen um, photos on, on YouTube today, uh, in YouTube videos, where, mm. oh, this is a juvenile Bigfoot. Mm. You know, it's like... No, mate, that's Could a bear with mange. Could it be a normal-sized bear? Yeah, it was just a bear yeah. with mange. It looks skinnier and mm. not as, and not as healthy. It's just well, it's, it's I like I like to go back. Well, Gav's <laughs> got an interesting point about the mythology that we all 
the culture sort of gain and gather mm. about mythical creatures and things like mm, yeah it's a fear of the unknown isn't it you, you can't explain it you know it, it, people are seeing weird things and they come back with stories mm. and it spreads doesn't it word of mouth yeah. it becomes legend of yeah. course Cool. It's, it's entirely possible. So there's two. I sort of have two philosophies. I don't know if that's the right word on this. Is that it could be like I said earlier. So we have precedent for prehistoric animals surviving and still living amongst yep, us absolutely. now. So uh, potentially, possibly, there could be some surviving animal right in the wilderness that we we know of their existence because we have thousand year old fossils of one of their ancestors. But there's a couple that have survived that are out there okay that could be true it could also be true that it's pure myth oh, pure yeah. mythology and it could be again a mixture of the two uh, I mean think about the old like, you go back let's skip back like a thousand fifteen hundred two thousand years what did people with the forest gods it was the, because people lived at the edge of these forests they were right. dark and they were mysterious and mm-hmm. you know predators came from them they, they use us it was the it was the will of the gods provided the bounty so, yeah. so, so if you're living next to that you're gonna have these myths oh yeah I saw mm. I saw a creature in there mm. and you know it was usually someone walking back home from the local tavern drunk off their ass and mm. or the local village idiot and um, in nowadays because we take the village idiot seriously and give them publicity <laughs> well it's um, because again like uh, on the the Joe Rogan episode I watched which was really good I recommend it if you're into this sort of thing because um, he wants to this is a conspiracy theory he wants to believe yeah cause it's the same as me um, I genuinely think that this one uh, has got some you know it could happen yeah it could be could I mean be. we do talk about like new species have been found but yeah. not things that are three metres high no do you know what I mean the, the, it's the area that they're in that, that people aren't about aren't they they're mm. not about 24-7 it's true I mean I mean, 25,000 square miles of Siberian wilderness yeah and how big are the forests in North yeah. America you I, know, yeah. it's I did say earlier that I'm not a biologist but one of the things with human beings is we having a baby is very difficult for a human like the actual act of pregnancy is a uh, is difficult because of the size of our our heads get yourself to enjoy the ice cream make us see plenty of breeding for our amazing <laughs> brains but you know what I mean it's, yeah. it's do you know why babies are born so weak and human babies are born so weak and pathetic uh, is it because it's because of the head yeah because the head the so head huge. can't get any bigger inside the womb yeah that's it that's why the baby's head you have a soft spot in the head because the baby's mm. head it takes a few more growing. months and it starts to grow and because well, other species in, other species are born and are able to walk yeah within, within um, minutes but it's, it's all to do yeah. with our brain. It's all to yeah. do with this giant brain. It's the biggest brain in the species. So I was going some of this. I was going well, we're th- using it to do a podcast. Well, it's, yeah, it's not the biggest <laughs> brain. The biggest brain is the well, new whale. All right, not the physically big, but you know what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Um, the physics. So hang on. So so a bigfoot then, if they're so close to us, I'm basically imagining that pregnancy is giving birth is difficult for a bigfoot. I imagine um, so. So maybe that's why they're not abundant. Yeah. Uh, and maybe, maybe they live to 130. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe they could be thousands of years old. Who knows? Yeah. If they're aliens, I mean, uh, Jim Mark is does immortal cool. jellyfish. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. Uh, so, it's genuine immortal jellyfish. Yeah. Mm. Does it fight other immortal jellyfish <laughs> with a sword? And well, take their no, jelly. There can only be one. No, we can be. Well, when you say immortal, we could rip it in half and it would be dead. Wouldn't it? We could kill it, but it just—if you leave it alone, it won't die. Yeah, but, yeah. but, but does it yeah. fight other jellyfish? In an effort to be the one. That's what I'm interested in. It could. I'd yeah. like it to. So I, I guess lot, I'm saying it'd be a lot cooler if it did. I think. I think what I'm saying here is Ben is that I'm going to do a mic, and I think I'm going to remain with the splinters in my bum on the fence on this one. Uh, I. Don't, I don't really come know. Come join me on the fence, guys. I'm going to sit next to you on the fence, Mike, and no, I'm not going to come down either way on this one. Could be mythology, could be true, could be both, could be. I, I think because part of me wants this one to be true, but I also go with what Joe said. Whereas there are so many cameras set up out there now that maybe there'd be a glimpse, but then there are. But they would, would, the would, would they suppress it? Yeah, I don't know. There could be. How much of it is made? Be, I mean, you can't, surely you can't just log on to a camera as a member of the public mm. in, in some national park and just sit there and watch a camera for 24 why would, hours, you can think, you? I mean, how think much they, of it is actually monitored? Why do you think they'd want to suppress Bigfoot 
do you think it would it fuck with the... But then the theory of evolution already fucks with the creationists. So do you think it would just alarm people? Do you think people would just descend on the woods wanting to I, rip it to pieces? Yeah, I think they would. Yeah, I mean, is there everyone want a Bigfoot trophy? Every hunter in America yeah. would descend on that so part. So they the, know that it's... Um, yeah. Yeah. The thing I'm concerned about a species is... ...species that doesn't breed much as a very low population. Mm. I mean, you imagine, I mean... Every hunter, any, anyone with a fucking rifle who thinks himself as a hunter is going to go out there and try and get one, aren't they? Yeah. And maybe it's it's a bit of sort of disinformation for we, disinformation for good. Would you then, if we could rescue one, would you, Mike? Would you be happy to have a Bigfoot in your flat in a, in a Mike and the Hendersons? Uh, no, <laughs> no, sorry, Bigfoot and the Mikes uh, style, sort of. You know, well, no, because he'd probably try and eat my cat. <laughs> no, you can teach him. No, be you nice to the cat. He can speak, he can speak English, remember? Oh, yeah. no, that's bollocks. I it? think he'd be nice to the cat. It would be, I mean, you're flat. I think he'd be quite a hippie. He's going to smash his head through the door, yeah. you know, above the door. Yeah, that glass. And there's glass going. above the door, so that, that's not going to last long. Yeah, he's there's not going to get through the door frames. You would you be sideways. willing to protect him to, to harbour, would you harbour a Bigfoot to protect him from the American hunters? Or the side No, hunters. because that's probably a bit too insane trying to hide a big, <laughs> big foot. Yeah, it, ain't a, like, it ain't like hiding ET, is it? In a second story flat in Telford. <laughs> Call yourself a liberal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it ain't like, it's not like hiding ET, is it, when you just stick him in a cupboard? Yeah. <laughs> you know, amongst the toys. When they come out for the inspection, just put <laughs> a lampshade over their head. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Let me big foot lamp. Chewbacca lamp, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Chewbacca lamp. <laughs> well, all I'm saying is... You guys just claim you built a, a robotic Chewbacca as a companion. Yeah. 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 It would be terrible for your, for your actual <laughs> life, but it would make a fantastic sitcom. <laughs> 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 I'd watch that. Yeah. Mike and the Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. You'd play Champa with you and everything. Yeah. Oh, listen to this, dear listener. I'm going to light a cigarette using matches. Oh, all very so 1920s. I'm teaching it to use a toilet, Randy. though. I'm not, I'm not, oh, yeah. It's not shitting in the litter tray. You, <laughs> you need a litter tray the size of a fucking football field. <laughs> you imagine you walking in, the big must read the paper squatting over the cat tray. The you just have to you're like, oh, sorry, mate. And he's like, oh, all right. Yeah. Like, you just have to. You read, read the toilet? No, no. You read the paper. You read the paper. You read the paper. You read the paper. read the paper. You read the paper. Check if he's stocks and chairs. You got the finance charts in the go. He's is an interdimensional being. Never mind. Litter tray wouldn't do. You'd have to take the lid. Of a wheelie bin, right? <laughs> and he would have to just perch himself on top of it and you'd empty it out once a week. You'd read it out the window. Once yeah. a week? Well, I suppose once a day. Yeah, yeah. once a day at the window. Every time, you wouldn't want to like turns on of it. But that's another thing, why they never found any, any excrement. Well, how would you, you know think it's a big Bigfoot foot? shit? If you're well, walking it's a massive pile of turd. You yeah. don't know that. It might. Like, uh, once again, like when we were talking about the Yeti vagina earlier, it's not 20 foot tall. It's no, it's still be pretty big. It'll be five. bigger than your average like bear Dude, shit. Dude, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do, do you think it's six foot five, man? No, no, it's it's more than that. It's, it's you're talking seven, eight, nine foot yeah, tall. Yeah, eight, nine oh, feet. Okay, that's quite tall. Three meters. But still, it's it's shit's not going to be elephant sized. It is could it? be. It could like well, it'd be bigger than your average bear yeah, shit. Yeah, you're right. It's going to be. But I don't big. know how big your average bear shit is. Well, neither do I. But I live in the woods. <laughs> I would because I go, oh, that's bear shit. I'd know that. I'd I was bought... watching a YouTube video earlier where a man did claim to have. Scat in a bag. <laughs> the print. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of YouTube video? It was on the. It was on the Joe Rogan program. Sure, Joe Rogan sure Christians. Watching... No. You sure you went on Pornhub? No, I didn't accidentally log on to your computer and go on your porn <laughs> history and end up watching poo eating. <laughs> you Not watching yours. Borat, weren't you? <laughs> it was the Joe Rogan episode of Joe Rogan Questions Everything, episode one about Bigfoot. So I was watching it for research, for your show, boys, taking the mickey out of me. My arse! Oh, we did not tell you to. We did not tell you to watch a video called Scat in a Bag. <laughs> the fucking man was showing Joe Rogan poos in a bag. And they claimed some of them were Bigfoot poos. But as Joe said to the man... I'm paraphrasing now, but it's like, well, how the fuck do you know that's any different than a fucking bear shit? Yeah. And the man was talking about, well, um, its tubular shape is a, oh. a much more in common with a, oh, with, with well, a human feces, not a bear feces. So that leads me to believe that Bigfoot is definitely I haven't real. just moulded this shit into the shit. Yeah. <laughs> but 
But no, it wasn't German scat porn, it was. <laughs> so my point is, there are people who do... There are people picking up poos and saying, it's going to be a Bigfoot yeah. ship. Yeah, well, yeah. No, no, I, mean, I, mean, I, I think, think the lack of evidence is... I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence because... Because you're Mike. Yeah. As you do, yes. <laughs> but I think it's very slim. I, think it's I can't slim. believe you're sat on the fence for everything and then lost Cosmonaut, she'll go, yeah, it's not true. No, because the... Well, yeah, because the motive... The motive for the USA and the West was was there and they, they didn't use it yeah. anyway that was the other yeah. last week yeah. this is this week so what's your opinion Mike yeah that's it man I, I'm going to go with on the fence I'm going to go 99.9% it's bollocks like, well, there's, there's a small <laughs> that's chance that's basically just not being on the fence though isn't it well it is because I'm saying there's the, the, the still a yeah there's a 99.9% chance yeah, yeah but that reminds me saying yeah. dumb and dumber what are the chances of it girl like you and a guy like me getting together and she says about one in a million and he says so you're telling me there's a chance <laughs> that's it S- so, you know, he's, one not, in a million. he's not 100 there's still one in a million chance that it is possible i mean the gigantopithecus we go back to him th- only thirty thousand years ago this thing was fucking up to five meters fucking tall yeah. that's like and crocodiles were around. that's taller than this ceiling mm? yeah it's very tall man yeah it's about. I'm trying uh, to put it in perspective. Of, hey, look, it's a, taller than Andre the Giant. Oh fuck yeah! It's probably twice the size of Andre the Giant. Fucking hell! Do you know that he had a, a <laughs> shoulder density of his body was twenty four percent? What the fuck? I read that in the, uh, doing Bigfoot research. Because like, he's like the biggest human right. that's big. Yeah. Uh, not not in terms of height, height but just but genuinely yeah. massive. Mm. And um, they're saying to put it into in the Pass and Gimlin film. They're saying. Mm. The, 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 the shoulders would have been like thirty four percent density, yeah. and uh, the largest human was only a giant twenty four percent. So that was. Uh, but yeah. the other guy says about the. Um, yeah. football Are you pants. telling me that Andre the Giant was in that monkey suit in that famous <laughs> Bigfoot footage? He could have been. How old would he have been in fifty? Uh, a young. I'm imagining like a ten year old Andre. Oh you know. well, that's too young. Yeah, but a ten year old Andre would have still been. Big enough to play that monkey in that footage. Probably, actually. That yeah. Bigfoot, sorry. Because you got, uh, yeah, yeah, Bob, yeah. Well, actually, what's one thing I never looked at is how high they estimated it to be. I think it was definitely over the six foot mark. Mm. So, well, generally, I've heard three meters. Yeah, I mean that's still pretty fucking tall. Yeah. So, what tall. what are your um, final thoughts, Ben? On I'm the, uh, Bigfoot. I'm going to surprise you all and join you all on the fence. Oh! Um, because wow. Wow. I, I like it. I like the, the mm. idea that there could be mm. this ape out there yeah. that no one's seen. And maybe they do know about it. And maybe because of protection. In, mm. you know, it's, it's maybe disinformation is being a good thing in this scenario. And the only people that claim to see it are a bit fucking mad I, anyway. I, 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 let me um, clarify myself. I, I'm not too sure on Bigfoot. I think America is pretty. It's not remote enough for that. I know there are. Oh, do you know the the, the, the forests? Mate, there are they're huge. Places, I mean, but are you a bit more open to the Yeti? Yeah, I'm thinking the Yeti. I mean, mm. how many people have been up? That's you know, well, no one lives remote. up a mountain, do they? Yeah, that's what I mean. yeah. yeah, it's very and very only very special people with very special. I mean, there equipment. are mountains. There are Rocky Mountains in that America. It's true. Yeah. Impossible. Um, but I, I do I do like the idea. That I'm not a fan of these cryptids, and that's what this is big for. Mm. You know, I don't like the New Jersey Devil and the Chupacabra. I think bullshit. they're the bollocks. Yeah. And every like, evidence they've ever given has just been like, no, that's not that. That's mm, pure else. anecdote. So, yeah. Um, but this, I you know, I, I like the yeah. idea. So I'm, I'm going to join you all on the fence. We're all sitting on the mm. fence like those racist crows from Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. And on that note, <laughs> yeah. I will say, uh, I've been Ben, and I will say, stay classy, world. And I will say, just before I give my sign up, um, to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and all that business uh, at Cutting Through the Ball. Yeah, Apocalypse <laughs> Ball on Twitter at Apocalypse Ball. At Apocalypse Ball. I'm um, I'm Baron Von Carter on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter, but you can find me on Facebook. Um, and yeah, I will say see you next week. And free Biff Tannen. Peace out. Till next time. Till next time. Thank you for listening. Bye. <laughs>